What's up, everyone? Welcome to True Gap and Coach okay, D Show. How you guys doing out there? Can you hear me, Coach? Can you hear me now, Coach? Arlo, what's good? Happy Jack, what's good? UDRC, Brock Diesel, Rashawn, what's happening? Everybody in the chat, what's up? What's up? What's up, fellas in the chat? This your boy Gap, man. Your boy Gap, what's good with y'all, fellas? One KGX, all right, but about the owner. Arlo, what's up? UDRC, Icar, Brock Diesel. RC Daniel, Rashawn. NorCal, what's good? Bad NorCal. Motor <laughs> Strip gear. Like a damn, NorCal. like a damn, uh, what they call them people? Osama bin Laden. <laughs> Team Baker, what's up? RC Bass Master, what it do, family? They got appreciate you, brother. Y'all didn't know, King. <laughs> Man, we just chilling. Happy Jack, what's up? What's up? Yeah, sir. You know we're rocking. Shat Diesel. What's up, Shat Diesel? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Tighten up, baby. Linda Kelly. Bobby's RC. Y'all showing up, showing up. We got uh, Fox Body is on my channel icon. So, oh no, Brock Diesel, what? What'd he say? Oh, Big Mac. Mm -hmm. T Money Bags, what it do? Big uh, Mac RC. Vegas said, true, you ever got the money? I don't know how the heck I seen it, but I don't know how how you get that. I seen it, bro. I'm gonna have to look it up to see how, how you, how you accepted or something bobby's rc what's happening then unless they just put it on to the the, the modern tire stuff when they when they give it to you at the end of the month i don't know i'm gonna uh watch a video on how to uh accept it or whatever the case may be but i did see it vega thank you so much brother We got V2 Viz in the house tonight. Boy, we finna rock out, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't close your eyes. Don't blink, baby. It's coming. Five live it's and full of out. Yes, sir. Shogun, what's up, baby? Perry, what up? Hey, appreciate you today, brother. That was that was good time. What's this tool, take uh Perry? Let me know what this does, brother, because I don't have a clue. Icon, icon. Yes, sir. Well, my brother, Mo Bay. All right, where you at, Mo Bay? No, you at the at the job getting it in. Yes, sir. Hey, man, listen. We all was in that chat the other night with little Chris, man. Y'all heard me say what I was doing, trying to get this uh. The drag thing going over here in Volusia County, and that just came into fruition yesterday, brother. Man, listen, man, it's a blessing. Hey, Arlo, appreciate you, big bro. Super, st super stick on deck, baby. Arlo, appreciate you, yes, appreciate sir. you. We're finna have a great night. To the call, Sean Adventures RC. RC Adventures. We got that JJ's Custom, man. Make sure y'all go shop with your boy, JJ's Customs, and also Extreme RC Precision. Make sure y'all go check both of those fellas out, man. They got great product. You, yeah, man. If they you got a Kaiju, it. if you mm -hmm. got a Kaiju, and you have not gone over to their website and got in your outdrive sleeves or your rear uh, hub carriers, you're sleeping. Because we got something new. JP Slayer, what's up, family? JP Slayer. Don't worry, because we finna start doing your ring bombs too, so stop capping. Capping. Capper. Big capper. 
Chris. What's up, Chris? RC for life, baby. Ali RC Duke. Jack H. He said, "What he say? He said he got me." Shit. Oh, you don't Jack, know what it Jack is. is appreciate it. What's up, brother? What's up? What's up? We got V two biz in the house. There he up. is, Mikey. Mikey, what's up, what brother? Doing? Trying to get a good look at the background doing? here. Yeah, how you doing, V2? Not bad. You guys? Yeah, yeah so, we ready to rock out. Hey, uh, spin it, Drew. I can't hear him. Okay, hold on. I'm spinning it. Something. Each other. Stream yard problems. Can you hear me? Yeah, but can you not? So I want to introduce Mikey, myself. Yeah, I can hear everybody. I All hear right. a lot of. I Hold hear on, a lot of chatter me. somewhere. I can't hear. I got you. I got you. I got you. Gap, you do who it. Hell, who the hell's yelling? What do you say? <laughs> Gap at a party. <laughs> uh, there you go, right there. Yo, yo. Can I hear me? Yeah, I can. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. I want to introduce myself Wait, before, my turn. You, before oh, we get started. A to Z, man. Uh, from Atlanta. Been in the hobby for about two years. <laughs> I got a lot going on, fellas. I'm sorry, man. I, I got a lot going on. Hey, your studio is a little dark down here in the corner. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he ain't in the light yet. Yeah, 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 hear me? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not in the office. No, I'm not in the office today. I wish I was so bad. Trying straight okay, block. I, I can't hear nobody. I only, I only no. hear uh, Coach D. Okay, hold on. Let me. Let me spin it, man. Let me take my earphones off, cause this... I'm gonna make sure y'all can hear me. All right, can everybody hear everybody? Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, yeah I can right, hear, hear me now. I can hear. Uh, B two B, say something. I c I couldn't hear him. Check one. <laughs> you can't hear. You're going to have to go out and come back in, bro. All right, all right. <laughs> You're messing me up. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Trailer all right, Mike, RC. what's going what's on, up, man? man? Gus's Customs, what's up? I, I wanted to introduce myself, man. I'm Dante, True Boys RC, and I've been back in this hobby for about a year and a half now. Been rocking out, bashing, you know, just enjoying the hobby. Right on. Coach. And, of course, my am live for Coach D. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, been in the hobby since 2012. Uh, just got back into the hobby uh, in 2019. Uh, so, and been on the bashing or started back in the crawler side. Now on the bashing side, and then uh, about to start the drag racing side here soon. Right on, right on. Yeah, yeah I never got that. You talking about like the dragsters, like the like the one fifth dragsters they do? Mm -hmm. ten, ten scale, no prep. All, all the 10 scale. I've seen some, mm -hmm. uh, I guess it was a group out of New Jersey or New York area or something. And I just caught it on YouTube. They were drag mm -hmm. racing in a park. So, yeah. Uh, you want to let the people know what's your name and, and a little bit about yourself? Oh, uh, me? Yeah. I'm yeah. Mike Vodders. Uh, I usually drive Overkill Evolution, the monster truck. But since this whole, uh, you know, epidemic fund's been going down, all my shows have been canceled. So uh, I pretty much converted my channel to completely RC content right now. So it's been working pretty good for me. And uh, yes, uh, I'm an RC enthusiast, but I never took it full time like I am now. Mm -hmm. How long you been doing it? The RC uh, part? I've had RC cars, you know, when I was a young kid and everything, because always being at shows back, you know, the old school shows, people would come out mm -hmm. in intermission time and have RC cars. And, you know, mm -hmm. I became, I became friends with people, all those people, you know, when I was a little kid, I was always bothering them and everything, just wanting to be a part of it. And so I've always mm -hmm. had a fascination for them. And then now once I really started making my own money and growing up and blah, 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 it just right. got back into it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you're enjoying it. Oh yeah, you're absolutely. What side? What side? Of, I mean, you only do the bashing side right now, right? What's that? I'm sorry. You only do the bashing side right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not too much into the whole racing thing. I don't have anything against it at all. It's just I just right. like to go out there and freestyle and see what jumps I can hit. Will this work or will it not work? 
man if y'all don't know about v2 biz y'all go check out his videos man he just drove <laughs> across a what that is a lake that was the pond i was just practicing yeah so man, so man not, that was man. epic bro so now for those who, so what i want to know is how soon until we see you make that attempt at making it to the island uh that's definitely going to be a work in progress i want to do you know it's not going to be the next video of hydroplaning Mm-hmm. I want to, we have, there's actually two islands out there. There's one that's called Sand Island. I'm actually not aiming for the big island that you've seen on the video. There's mm-hmm. a little island just to the left of it. It's called Sand Island. That's the one I'm going to aim for. It's a beach right there. Okay. It's right mm-hmm. next to it. But I want to go out there. It's about a little over a football field between the islands. And I want to go from one beach to the other beach okay. just to get an idea. I want to get an idea of what long distance travel is like on the water to see how it's reacting and responding. You know, that was just a little short gap in the pond. So I, I need a big, I need a big scale to really figure out what I'm doing. Right. Cause you want to be able to turn around and on the water, right? Well, we're just, I just want to know how to get the most efficiency out of that RC car going across mm-hmm. that lake. Right. I know this ain't got nothing to do with RC, but how did you get into the monster truck uh, world? Uh, my family's been doing it uh, all my life. So my mom, my, my dad, my mom drove in the nineties. Uh, my dad's been driving since nineteen eighty two, and so that's just. Yes, uh, so that's now, what, what, what were the uh, what were the names of the vehicles that they drove? Uh, my dad still has black. My dad still drives black stallion. Uh, my mom's truck was boogie van. Yes, and, sir. Uh, um, nice. I actually did freestyle motocross for 10 years professionally before I did monster trucks. Mm-hmm. So. What made you cross over before? Did you just stop uh, doing it? Are you still riding dirt bikes? Uh, not anymore. I still have all my dirt bikes. I still collect them and everything like that. I have street bikes and, you know, it's just, I don't like doing dangerous things anymore. Right. Straight up. Straight up. Just, yeah, as soon as I became kid, a father and everything and. I, I've had my crazy time. I had my, that's why I don't care about RC. I, you know, the RC cars, I love them, but I don't care about them at the same time. You know what I mean? That's right. why I do what I do. Right. <laughs> now, how do you feel when, when you're doing the standing on your two front wheels in the monster truck? That, uh, it's, it's a feeling you got to get used to. It's right. It, kinda feel, it feels like you're when when you hit that balance point, it feels like you're hanging over a cliff, and that's where a lot right. of drivers get scared. So that's when when it becomes when it becomes on that balance point is uh you got to get used to it. Man, when I see, you did it for a long time, did it for a long time. When I seen you tip over that one time, I was thinking to myself, boy, I wonder how he felt when that thing just tipped right over. You was on the top of your head. I was pissed off. I know, I know. I see it. I see it. I seen the look in your face. I, I try to become like, I'm like a perfectionist, I guess you can say. And like, if I mess up, like, I would not, I, I'm not easy on myself. Like, right. I don't know. It's, it's just. Yeah, I'm I see the, guy, the way you were. I, I am the I am the competitor out there. If it doesn't go my way, sometimes I will throw the fit. There we go. <laughs> but hey, there you got that's just That's just the competitive side in me. So mm-hmm. have you, uh, have you guys heard any word on um, if they're going to start you guys back up anytime soon or have they started <laughs> to reschedule yet? Um, there are some fairground shows uh, in Maryland and some other places that are saying that they're not going to cancel. Like, they're still a go. It's uh, July and August. And, you know, obviously the states are – I'm in I'm in here in Canada, so I'm kind of mm-hmm. going with what's going on up here. I don't know what's going on exactly in the states. But right. apparently, you know, you guys are opening up down in the south. I and mean, you're from Florida, and it's, you know, mm-hmm. life seems pretty much back to normal there. Yeah. I wish they did that over here. That um, somewhat, somewhat back to normal, but but hectic at the same time. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. I seen uh, I seen the uh, governor of Florida giving the media a hard time the other day. It was great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish they <laughs> opened up uh, the uh, fairgrounds down here and did that. That'll be awesome. Have you been like, to our fairgrounds out there, off of Forty Four? In Delano, uh, New York, New York. Yeah, in the oh. mm, No, not familiar with that. They need to open that up for the track one day. Usually when I come to Florida Florida to do shows, it's for Monster Jam, so I'm always in like mm-hmm. Orlando or Jacksonville, Miami, the big stadiums. I don't mm-hmm. usually get to I don't usually get to the smaller shows in Florida. It's always the stadiums. Right. That's right. But, That's but cool, I know Delan though. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. 
I use the chilies all the time there on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard that. So y'all need to come over here too. All right. Come hang out. So with now, us. so since you've uh, taken the time off now for Monster Jam, and you have been doing the uh, RC side of it and and doing the YouTube videos, have you seen uh, a lot of support from your same fan, your same fan base as you do the RC as you as you would be if you were just in your truck? Yeah, I've seen a good bit. Obviously, there's some drop off. You know, they're waiting for the monster truck stuff to come back. That's really what they enjoyed about my channel. But there is a good bit that are staying, you know, staying with me and supporting me. And uh, even when I'm at monster truck shows and I have my X Max here, the one you see back here, that set up like overkill. Mm -hmm. I'll set that up in pit party with me. And everybody that comes through that line, they got to take a picture of it. They got to have a picture of it. They love it. So. You know, the world is just really cross over nicely. So it make, that's what make, makes it so nice and easy for my channel yeah. to survive through this. And I, I think something that helps a lot of individuals, too, who who uh, are interested in the hobby, but, you know, they haven't really gotten into it to see you there with an RC truck, you know, pre-show. Uh, help oh, like help a couple the hobby days. out. A couple of days before I would go in. So right. I, the day they get done building the track is when I would go in before they get the paint down. Because once they lay the paint down, I don't want to mess it up. Right. So, but uh, I mean, even carrying the X Max to the building as I'm carrying it to the, the floor, like all the security people everywhere, like you know, they're like, "Oh man, that's awesome!" It doesn't matter. Everybody's impressed by an X Max or an RC car in general. You know, everybody has to stop and look. Right. So, which RC would be your favorite? Oh, my X Max. It's actually right here. There it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I see you got a nice paint job on there with the paddle ties. <laughs> That's how you went across that water. Yeah, uh, Pete, I don't know if you've seen my uh, Instagram. I used that uh, field marking paint to spray. spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I, was here, I, was here, I, want, I want a cool color, but I don't want to go anywhere and get paint. So I said, this will work. I don't care. Oh, yeah. yeah that's nice. How it you actually doesn't. Pete, what's that? How did you uh, keep the graphic on the front? Oh no, it's it was clear. Like um, the the where it's green, that was clear. So I just painted the okay, inside. Yeah. And so, then, uh, so you can buy a bike that has the factory. Uh, I got all my floats in there. Oh, so. you see the 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 black part? That's the factory uh, paint, right? Yeah, yeah. Then it comes clear, and then you can just make it whatever co accent color you want. Where'd you get that from? Traxxas. Yeah, I need to get me one. This, I didn't know they, they did that. But uh, this was from like four years ago, though. So that's probably why, probably why oh, I can't find it anymore. You got a special one. <laughs> we can't get that. <laughs> it's OG never... stuff. Yeah, that's OG. <laughs> <laughs> OG in the game, bro. Y'all better check him out. So oh, what? So for, no, for your RC, for your RC collection, how how many RCs uh, do you have? I got my, I got a slash. I don't know if I can can't turn the camera around on here or not. I got a, I got my slash. I got my UDR. I got my Losi Super Rock Ray. I got my TRX four. I have a Stampede down here. I've been picking it like a chicken because it crosses over to my slash, and <laughs> <laughs> I have my. Uh, I have some T10 right here. It's all beat to hell, and I got to get some ser a servo in it. But I love that truck. That's one of my favorites. I want to get one. It's pr it's pretty tough. It's actually I, when I was building it, I was very unsure because it, it came as the kit form. Mm -hmm. And I was I was building. I was like, man, this thing's all plastic. I, I don't know. It just feels flimsy. And then I took it out and was just beating the hell out of it. And then just takes. It. I was so I was so surprised. <laughs> mm hmm. I think that's one of my next deals. Go ahead. So now, did did uh did Dave uh did you make Dave fix the the, the slash? Did I'm sorry. Did you make Dave fix the slash after he tried uh, to send it off the ramp, <laughs> or is it still no? Is it still in the sick bay? It's, it's still. I, I haven't got the chance. It's still. It's still right here. It hasn't been uh, fixed <laughs> yet. So. Big shot to Dave, man. man. Hey, yeah. we, we loving him on the show, bro. We loving him on those videos. Got the shock. Yeah, he's uh he's not too easy on it. Dave, Dave got the RPM a, arms on it. Dave is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good got, addition to the to the channel. <laughs> yeah, I got got a uh thirty six hundred KV 
3650 kV motor in it with the, uh, um, I guess. Oh, shoot. Oh, there. There so. It's 4S capable. Oh, you yes, said it was sir. 3650 kV. What's that? You said it was 3650 kV on the motor. Yeah, I have a, uh, I have a 4000 kV hobby wing here. I'm not sure what I'm going to put it in. I'm, I'm, I guess <laughs> until something burns up, then I'll put it. In. Right, <laughs> right. At least it, at least it's there. Oh yeah, and then I. Uh, do you guys, you guys have X Maxes. I know you have an X Max, oh, yeah. right? Oh yeah. What uh, what motors you running in yours? My I mine stock. I have the I have the six S X Max. Okay. So mine's run, mine's running on the stock system. I haven't done anything to it yet. That gotcha. he has he has the chainsaw. <laughs> I broke he the key. The eight hundred kV uh, hobby wing motor. Oh, okay, I was looking at that. Now, see, I was thinking about something like I, I don't know if the six. See, I got the sixteen hundred kV running on the eight S right now. I would do that because uh, I haven't had. I had a lot of problems with this thing. I think it got a lot of power. I don't know if it's me or what. I'm breaking gears left and right. I think the really? way I jump and then I'm I'm still holding the gas. I think that's what's killing my gears. But yeah, man, this thing is a monster. Another thing, because I was talking, I was talking to Kevin Tobit about mm -hmm. converting mine to I was about the Mamba X, and I was talking to him, and he told me to keep the the stock Traxxas motor because it's supported on both ends mm -hmm. instead of just like compared to like one motor plate, and that motor right. plate will bend. That's what that's what's happening in mine right there, Coach. Exactly. Yeah, see, I keep breaking, and I and as you've seen, I don't like to go small with mine, so <laughs> I'm going to keep yes, it. Sir. I I'm think you got one of the biggest ramps out there. So, so now when you're when you are, well, we I, I know I've seen it. I know he's seen it. Um, is there any? I don't know how can I say it. Uh, would you attempt to break any sort of record if there is one, as far as a distance jump on the RC? Oh yeah, yeah. I uh, I have some store. I'm gonna. I'm going to get a little unorthodox, <laughs> you know, and, I, and, and then the problem is right now, everything's out of stock. I got to, so I got, I got to wait for the next wave of, uh, you know, inventory to come into the uh, hobby world. And then I can start getting some RC vehicles that I want because I want to go far. What's, but, your you know, I, what's that? What's your future RCs? I can't tell you, man. That'll give it away. Oh, <laughs> I'll be watching, so I'll, uh, I'll be watching. <laughs> uh, I just y'all better be tuned to his channel. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna be crazy, but, but I don't want to just be known for you know all he does is hit a ramp and go big. You know, I like like the hydroplaning was great. I I really enjoyed it. You know, but you know, do you I, I don't know. whatever whatever's fun to do. That's what I want to do. So do it's you like hard. more? Uh, I don't I can't hear you true if you're talking. Go ahead, coach. I was just, just asking. Or oh, we're playing musical uh, chairs here. Down to the topic, is, do you like do you like the, the I know you like the bash inside of it, but do you also like the wrench inside as well? Do you like to work on your vehicles? Yeah, I do. As long as I got the parts. <laughs> I, can't. I can't hear him. Can you hear uh, me? Uh, stream yard. It's not you. It's not you. It's stream yard. It's stream. I keep kind of cut you off on accident because Streamyard is tripping. Sorry, yeah, about that. yeah, it's Streamyard. Can you hear me? You're good. Hey. Yeah, I can hear you now. No, I enjoy wrenching. Like I, I like coming down here to my workbench, you know, later at night and fixing things or trying to tweak little things or, you know, sometimes I make my own parts. Like, you know, something breaks that it's made out of metal. I can usually fix it or carve it out of metal, grind. You know, it's things like that. I'm, I'm, I'm a fabricator. So I like mm -hmm. fabricating things, you know, monster trucks, things. So it crosses over nicely. Right. All right. Do you plan on making like a full custom bill someday? Uh, that's honestly probably not. I mean, that's just not the part that I'm into. I I, I like going out and beating snot out of one, you know. 
Right. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to build one and spend a lot of money on building it. And I, I'd want to cherish that. Then I'd rather get like something like the X Max or right. the Creighton and just go have at it. Right. I'll tell you a good car to get. I mean, you can't even really too much do backflips with it, but a good car to have is the Armor Mojave. Yeah, I was looking at those actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, XO Cage RC. I was watching his comparison to the UDR to the Mojave. Mm-hmm. And it's a great and, car. Uh, completely different machine they look similar but people don't realize how different they are mm-hmm. it, it, it looks super tough and i would definitely be interested in having one in the future all right now i finally got me a udr thanks to shogun rc <laughs> so i'm copying y'all now oh nice yeah, yeah i got the, I love it i got the i got the red and black and rigid oh. can you hear me yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. all right yeah i uh so I got, try to get my parts all lined up right here. Yeah, there we go. Yes, sir. That's always good that's to just, have. And when, and when things open back up, of, you should you should stock it up. Oh yeah. Did you? Uh, then I got my travel case for the X Max. So when I go out shooting, I always have parts right there for me. Nice. So uh, that's so, you just made me think about some about making like a custom. Uh, you know how they do the guns with the foam inside the case? Yep. I would want to make like a, a, a like a uh some luggage or something and put the foam in it and cut it out so I can sit my car in. That'll be tight. <laughs> just just for look. That'd be good. That'd be good for air travel, like if you want to take it somewhere. Right. Yeah, that'd be nice. Problem is the batteries. I don't think like I don't think you can carry a lipo one or I don't think you put lipo in storage. No, no, it had to be. It had to be on your carry on. Yeah, like, like two big Traxxas batteries catch on fire in the plane. That'd be great. Right. right. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had any uh, lipo fires? I had two. I had two three cells puff up on me about three years ago, but mm-hmm. I really didn't. Oh, wow. I didn't know much about them. I didn't know that you had to be careful not to, you know, uh, you know, run them Charge. too dead. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I guess you'd say. Or overcharge them. So, but I'm I'm cautious with them now, and I have pretty good luck. Mm-hmm. Now, do you so do you charge in a certain location, or you just you know matter? I you have, do watch it. I, I have my charges right here. I mean, yeah. Right. I mean, I, how I don't treat them like bombs. Mm-hmm. Just put it that way. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, they, you got to be cautious with them, but you know, and don't don't be too right. serious with them. I guess I don't know. <laughs> right. I'll hear you on that. The show guys, where is Gap? Where is Gap? I don't know where yet. But yeah, man. So how how do you like the crawlers? I know that's a different avenue of RC. It's a little more. I don't know if it, have you ever did any competition things with your uh, crawlers, or is it just you play with them? No, no. I just have the TRX four up there. Yeah, I uh, I bought that. I got I actually got that. I got the Bronco for $380 brand new on the shelf my local hobby shop had it usually like 450 and he mm-hmm. said I'll give it to you for 380 like I'll take it yeah and, you got to look <laughs> and I don't know I really I just I didn't know much about the crawlers and I got it and I was surprised how capable that TRX4 was just right out of the box mhm it's, it's actually pretty impressive but um the crawlers are fun you don't need a lot of room to have fun with them and that's some nights I like to go out and some evenings and just relax and have a crawling mm-hmm. session Right, and you like that uh, two speed, and you like to do wheelies with it, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah you like me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put a Are bigger motor? In it? No, I. Uh, I've cont- you know, contemplated, uh, you know, like putting a three S in it, brushless and all that, but I would just beat it up. So I'm just gonna keep it brushed, keep it stock. Right. Go ahead. I got my bashing. I got my bashing vehicle vehicles. That's right. Sorry, y'all. Uh, Right, what I was right. gonna ask was once things get back to normal, uh, what's gonna be your next RC that you pick up? Yeah, he just said you can't tell me that. <laughs> when things get back to normal, I don't. Uh, well, before things get back to normal, I'd like to get a few, but um, I don't know. Maybe in the future, way future, maybe the Creighton uh, 8S, possibly. Yes, sir. Um, you have to do that. Work to that one. I would like to get the low C 5T and convert it to electric. That, 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 that's been a topic of conversation, my brother. Between, yeah, between just, a few of us, 
nothing against gas and nitro and all that. It's just not my thing. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. like the noise. I like the, I like, well, you know, being I mean, out in nature deal, with the... I mean, you deal with enough noise <laughs> as is. <laughs> You're right, man. You're right. <laughs> Do any of the other guys who, who drive Monster Jam are they in the RC or do they do RC? Yeah, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of people are actually. I mean, Ryan, the Anderson brothers, they mm-hmm. they like RC cars. Uh, you know, just there's a good bit surprisingly. It just mm-hmm. pe- passes the time nice on the road, right? So, my, a, my, yeah. my son's um, three. My son's three and a half. So you know, two three years from now, he'll really enjoy them. You ever be driving somewhere and you stop at like a gas station and you see some good riding area and you, you get out and bash? No, I haven't done that yet. Okay. But if I was if I was to, the slash would be the one to go with. Right. Nice. You know, it's just Which understandable because you're so busy. What's that? I say I, it's understandable because you be so busy trying to get somewhere, you probably ain't thinking about bashing at that moment. Yeah, we're just in travel mode, really. Mm-hmm. I, I I travel so much that you know people when, let's say an everyday person travels, you know the traveling part is just a cool experience, you know, for them is, you know, but me always being on the road, we're just looking to get to the destination, kind of. Mm-hmm. Like tired of being, I'm tired of being on this road. Well, it's it's the thing is like I, I tra- we travel the same road so much. Mm-hmm. You know. You know, I've been the only places I really haven't been to in the states is the Northwest, like Oregon, Washington, Montana, all that. Like, so other than that, everywhere I go, I've been to multiple or a dozen times mm-hmm. or more. Mm-hmm. So it's just, you no. Know, well, that's when I went to the UK last year. I mean, that was great to get out a little bit. Uh, I've been to ten Mexican cities, so I've been all over down in Mexico and. I'd like to travel more. Definitely want to get out Australia, wherever I can go. All right. Someone asked, do you have any plans on rebuilding Goliath? That's not mine. There you go, RC Daniel. The Goliath was one. Someone, they asked, uh-huh. um, Stop trying. someone asked, have you ever been to Union Center in Albany, New York to do a show? I was there in 2005 was the last time I jumped freestyle motocross there. Mm. So it's been a minute. Do you have any uh, practice time right now? What's that? Practice? Do you have, yeah, practice. Do you ever get out and go just take your truck out anywhere out there where you at? No, I'm in – well, I don't have my truck. It's in Maryland. I'm in Canada. I haven't okay. seen my truck in I haven't seen my truck in three months. Wow. But you guys working on you got guys working on it or it's all it's all put no. together? No, it actually came out of the trailer for the first time yesterday. I mean it's just, wow. there was nothing wrong with it and Right. You know, so just uh, my, my father, he's been doing work around our shop and doing other things that kind of has slacked over the years because of traveling so much. So just take this opportunity mm-hmm. to do things you can't do usually. Right. That's correct. So now I know the wife films you a lot when you're out doing all the the send it videos or, or, or the, the, the the running across the pond. Does she ever pick up the controller? Uh, she's tried to drive my TRX four, and she has a problem with the hand eye coordination thing. <laughs> uh, my wife like to join. She in the chat room right now, <laughs> Miss True. You know, so it's yeah. I mean. I laugh with her. I mean, like I tell her, like, you're going to be embarrassed about this and that. With the when I when I got the wagon deal, I did the mm-hmm. wagon video. You know, our neighbors are driving by, and I'm out here in a wagon with RC cars pulling mm-hmm. me, and a grown man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you know, it's I I don't want to get old. I don't want to grow up. That's the thing. I want to be right. mature, but I don't want to grow up. Right. I think most of the people that watch us with these RCs look at us like we kids that don't that don't know about the hobby. They just feel like we're just playing with toys and you know, we're enjoying ourselves, but it's more than a toy. It costs some money. Yeah. Oh yeah. D- Dave Dave, when we were off camera, we I was he was talking after he ran the slash the last time mm-hmm. when I jumped the Creighton. He was running the slash and he just he couldn't believe how fun they are. 
I was like, I know when, when you're running an RC car, for some reason, it's like, you know, it sounds like Vin Diesel. For the moment, nothing else matters. And it's true. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I tell you, it's like therapy to me. It, so it, now, it really is. So now this would, this would be a question, I guess, for Dave, but he's not around it. Do you, do you see him buying his own now that he's ran yours? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he can keep beating up the slash for a while as long as I got parts. <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. He makes great footage. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he listen that, that. I I love it. He is a character. I he love it. he feels bad. He feels bad for breaking it. But like I, I tell him, like Dave, I brought this out with intentions, knowing you were you know you were going to break it. Like I, it's right. okay, right. I, but it's all for the you know it's for the video. You know you know do your worst. Right. Yeah. The the, the more you you do something, they they they, they want to watch it. So. The more extreme it is, like the crane it's setting over here, it's uh, not doing too good at the moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. <laughs> oh, I seen the video when when you bust that whole front end when you came off that ramp. That was crazy. I love the it slow was, motion. What are you filming in? Uh, uh, frames. I'm not. I'm not sure on frames. Are you talking about like it's 1080? Yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah. 4K. I'm just okay. 1080. And then uh, using GoPro or, or regular camera? Yeah, I have two GoPros. Um, I have a – it's a Canon SL2 Rebel. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you ever heard of that camera. Mm-hmm. And I, I just have a decently wide lens on it. Not not real fish-eyed, but it, it – mm-hmm. so when you're vlogging or holding the camera, it does get you. And if you're with somebody, it gets them easily as well. So it's a bit right. of a wide angle. Right. That's good. And then I know Dave holds one GoPro. You have the other GoPro set up by the ramp. The cannon is used by whoever's filming you at the time. I, exactly. Correct? Exactly. Okay. Yep. When you was in the water, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut you, but um, when Dave was in the water, was he using the the big camera or the GoPro? GoPro. That was awesome. That slow motion yeah. was killed it. Yeah, it's cr- it's crazy. It, the uh, the the audio sucks on the GoPro. I'll say that, but the, the picture on the GoPro is <laughs> unbelievable. Mm-hmm. There's right. you know, and he, he enjoys it. It's not like I'm telling it. the first one when I hit him with the slash on the kayak, I was I had to, <laughs> I had to give him some pointers. But he it's not like I was trying I, I purposely put him in there. Like he put himself right there at the ramp. Like he right. wants to be at the action. He he wants right. to all but get all but get hit by the R C car. Right. And it's it's great. I mean, I mean I couldn't ask for a better cameraman in most. <laughs> I still, You're right. I still, I still say it, and I went back and watched that video. I still don't understand how he held himself up <laughs> without going in the drink. I'm so I just still can't. I don't see how he did it. Yeah, I, I don't. We uh, we have two kayaks. Of, well, we we almost we almost grabbed my kayak, and I have it real narrow. It's more sporty, and we mm-hmm. almost grabbed it. And I said, no, we better take my wife's because it's more stable. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was literally. <laughs> I don't know how he held that uh, there. Yeah, he been shot. He was he was getting ready to take on some water. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone asked, "Have you ever been to the dungeon?" The what? The dungeon. Who's who's asking? Uh, General Hobbies. General Hobbies. Yeah, mm-hmm. where where's the dungeon? Are you talking about Digger's dungeon? I'm guessing so because he said. Speaking of the dungeon, I heard that was the RC monster truck event they have every year. Yeah, he's talking yeah, about Digger's yeah, dungeon. Digger's dungeon, yeah. Uh, I've been there one time, and it was brief. Let me check on bro. Make sure he's all right. Where is my? So when it comes down to. Uh, after you've gone out, after you've bashed, after you've done all that, do you enjoy the editing side of it also? If if I had fun filming it, I enjoy the editing. If you know, if I don't feel a video, I mean, I'll still put out a video. I still want it to be a good quality video, but you know, not everything you do is going to be your favorite. Right. Everything you do is going to be your personal best. But if right. I really enjoy the day, then I enjoy it. But but it's also fun to take something that I didn't find to be that good that i filmed and turning into something great through editing all right okay because i have days like that where i don't 
it's like I just want to run. I just want to have fun. I don't feel like filming, but then I know I'm like, damn it, I didn't catch that shot. If I had been filming at that time, so yeah. it's kind of like a. But then there's days where I may just want to go film other people run because I just don't feel like running that day. But I still get footage. It may not be of me or my own, but I still go get something because I do like the 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 filming side of it. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I I know what you mean. Like you just enjoy the camera angles, or you know, right. it's art. Right. To me, it's art. When I make a video, it's art. Yeah, you know, it's because it's like there's not. A, I can see it doing it for other people. Like I can see what shots I want to get when I when I want to do it a certain way. But if I'm filming myself, it's like ah, damn it, I can't do what I really want to do because I'm having to focus here's on. A, right. Here would be a good camera right here. If yeah, you that's true. Yeah, if I'm a grip. Right. No, no, the DJI. Yeah, it's got the. If you want to, like, you know, it's it's got the gimbal, so it's super stable. If you want to, I use some of this for B-roll. Like when I, like if I want to get really close to the truck, it's just super, super stable. And you know what? That looked like the same camera that that's on the um the DJI Maverick Pro Two. Looked like it. Probably. probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they just stuck this gimbal part onto the drone. Mm-hmm. But uh, this actually isn't my mine. This is Marty Garza. He co-owns Overkill. He actually does my thumbnails. I don't do mine thumbnails. Oh, okay. Not wrong with that. Sometimes, uh, yeah. He's really good at Photoshop. So I mean, some of the some of the thumbnails that he creates are from the ri original picture to what the thumbnail is. Mm -hmm. you, know, you wouldn't believe it sometimes. They said. Yeah, uh, they they ask, is Roman Atwood getting into Monster Jam too? No, no. Uh, uh, the Smile More Body. I don't know if you guys seen the Smile More Body that I did. I did. I've seen it. I've when, seen uh, when you did that, it. Yeah, that was just a straight collaboration we wanted to do. I mean, he's a, he's a big monster truck fan. He likes monster trucks. And I said, hey, let's do a video together. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. Would you mind if I came over and I filmed and you can film and help your channel? He said, yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. And I said, how about a Smile More Body? He loved the idea you know, for his clothing and, you know, it's all about the, it's all about the pictures. It's all about the, you know, promoting. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. And he loved it. So we put it together. Roman's a great guy. He hasn't put a video out in a, since new year's. So I'm not he's sure why he's laying in low. Or... Yeah. He's a great guy. Um, I see he do a lot of stuff with the X max, uh, tracks his deal. With him yeah. A yeah. Lot. He actually, he's the one that gave me this X max. That was, uh, that was a gift from him. So, you should have told him uh, sign the body. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> you should have told him sign the body and put it up. Yeah, then because that was the X Max I had, I ran all the time, and then mm -hmm. I just retired it once I got that body for it. That's a six S right there. That's not. Mm -hmm. even, they say the six S is faster than the eight S. Yeah, that's what I got in my my X Max now is the uh, the sixteen hundred KV. Oh. So now with with uh with with Kevin being a, a, a huge uh monster truck fan or monster jam fan, and I'm sure everyone's seen it sitting in his shop. Do you ever see him completing the build on his on his monster truck? <laughs> I talk to I talk to Kevin a lot, you know, on mm -hmm. over Instagram, like video chat. I talked to him a good bit, you know. We're good we became good friends and I, I told him I was like, Why don't you send your chassis over to Maryland? and use our shop and what we'll, you know you he's never even worked on a monster truck he wants to build this monster truck and i told him i was mm -hmm. like why don't you come on the road or come to a few shows with me to get mm -hmm. the feel for what you're about to dump two hundred thousand dollars into mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, and you know he's all about it so he wants to fly over here and i said get the hang of it you know drive my truck a little bit through the field if you mm -hmm. want you know we can film it make videos and send your chassis to the states why send all the parts from the u.s to the you know, to the UK right. just to send it back over here. Like, I don't know. Right. So, right. so he's we'll over there, over at, right? What's that? He's over there where you, where you at, right? No, he's from England. No, he's okay. England. Yeah, okay. I'm in Canada. Yeah. He's okay. from, uh, he's from Cambridge, England. All right. So uh, they say, do you, do you know Barty Moose? Barty Moussa? Yep. Yeah. Got a gaffster here. 
Finally. Oh, he's in the office now. There we go. What it do, family? What's going <laughs> on, man? What it do? What it do? How you doing, BTV? Man, what's going on with your brother? How you doing? How you doing? Pretty good, man. Just got a lot going on, man. The fam over here, and they don't want to go home. Mm-hmm. They want to party all night, and you know how I go. When you ain't got to go to work the next day. When you ain't got to go to work the next day, people stay late. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Every day is a Friday right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, just about. So you just been off, uh, B2B? Whew. Have I been off? Yeah, you just been. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last show I did was the ATL at the Mercedes-Benz Dome and the stadium, and that was uh, end of February, and I was supposed to be in Vegas like the mm-hmm. 21st, 22nd of March and all that got canceled. And I didn't want to, I, I came here after Atlanta, went to Maryland mm-hmm. and drove up to Canada, hang out with my family for like three weeks. And then started watching the news and seeing all this stuff go down. And I told my dad, I was like, I really don't want to go anywhere because I think they're going to lock the borders down. And sure mm-hmm. enough, they locked them, they locked them down. And I'm just happy I was here with my family when they got locked down. That's right. So they wouldn't let you in. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, well, my my son, having my son, my wife, and I, I think maybe I could get back in, but I just don't want to chance right. it. Right, that's like right. Like I could go, I could go back, I could go back to the states right now. It's just right. Why? I won't, you know, I don't really don't have anything down there I have to do right now. So. Mhm. So how long you been over there? Since February twenty fifth. You know what I'm saying like staying in Canada. Period. So I'm, I'm late in. Um, I missed a lot of the questions. So. They keep they keep you pretty busy though, right? With the driving the trucks. I'm sorry, Gap. I I said I said uh, I I know I'm late coming in, but I I was just asking the question. I was just saying like they keep, do, do they keep you pretty busy driving the trucks? Like, well, how do your schedule work with driving the uh, yeah. real monster trucks? Yeah, I uh, I travel about 45 weeks out of the year, 40 weeks out of the year, and uh, wow. it's pretty busy. So I mean, uh, nonstop, probably, you know, 30. 35, 40 states a year. Mm-hmm. So, not competing in each one, but, you know, just traveling and that. It's, 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 it's a tough life sometimes, especially now having a family. When I was younger right. and I didn't care, I could be on the road for six months. I didn't, I didn't have a, I didn't have a real life, you know, right. now I have a real life. So, That's cool. I want to ask, is there, is there a special license that you have to have, uh, to drive a monster truck or do you have to go through any type of, of classes or anything like that? You have to be 18 to drive a competitive monster truck for monster jam. I mean, I'm sure there's some others out there that were younger that, you know, got through, but, and you have to pretty much just be accepted by your peers. Mm-hmm. So nothing, nothing too critical. It's not like a CDL. <laughs> right. So if someone had the money to that that could afford a monster truck, and they got one built. It wouldn't it wouldn't be that hard to get into the monster truck scene. If I'm sorry, I I couldn't hear you. I said it wouldn't be that hard if they had the the money to to buy their own monster truck. It wouldn't be that hard to get in that that scene. Well, the thing is, with a monster truck, it's not like buying a Lamborghini, okay? Here's $250,000, you go to a Lamborghini dealership, you drive it off the lot, and it's drivable, blah, blah, blah. The monster truck, yeah, it's going to cost you a quarter million to build it, but you're also going to have to have the knowledge of maintaining it, spare mm-hmm. parts. Uh, okay, you break it, you know, you're, gonna, you're just going to stand there and look at it, or you know how to tear into it, you know how to fix it, what do you need? You know, it, it's just, there's so much to it beneath the surface that people don't understand. And that's where my channel came in to play. I, I wanted to show people what it takes, like how much of a pain in the ass it is out here on the road. It's not always a joyful rock star life. It, it sucks right. sometimes straight up sucks. And that's what I wanted people to see. Right. Mm-hmm. You're doing a great job. So about, that. about, about how many different trucks do you go through in a year in a, in a good year where you, you attend, Majority of the shows, and you drive at all of them. About how many rigs do you think you will go through? Trucks, like no, I I keep the same truck all year long. The same truck, okay. Same truck, I've yeah. I mean, I mean, it it shouldn't like now with this coronavirus thing happening, like the lockdown and not being at work. You know, you, I think a lot of people are having the same thing. You don't appreciate what you have until damn this, you know, 
to you take it suck. from you. <laughs> this, this, uh, this sucks now, actually. You know, I, I got sick of being on the road. You know, I, I appreciate my family time right now, but you know, mm-hmm. it, it makes me it makes me feel like, you know, I felt like I was worth something when I was working and traveling and entertaining, and now right. not having that, not having that, I don't have my sense of purpose. Right. Mm-hmm. So. It's like you. It's like you sort of like you just, you just realize that you really. You know, everybody just a regular person, but you are someone different when you're able to when you're living that lifestyle, you're you're a star. And yeah, I mean the people make you feel like a star, they really do. Yeah. I'm just a regular guy, you know, I'm just a regular right. dude. I just drive a big truck. That's it. I mean, but but these little kids that look at look at you like you're a superhero, you know, that's what that's what's awesome. My son, he loves the trucks. He every time he sees my truck, he goes nuts and that's what's the cool part about it. Right. Yeah, yeah, I guarantee it. But but it 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 does take a special person though. It does take a special skill set. I mean, I know you know humble is humble is a great way to be, but it takes a special skill set, man. Anybody just can't. A lot of people can't just jump in that truck and make it do a a, a backflip off a wall and, and ride on two wheels. Ride on two wheels on the side. That's that's that takes a special person, man. It's just like somebody going to the NFL. Everybody can't go. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, right. you are right about that. I mean. I, uh, I I did a, a little video shoot one time with the uh, the Ottawa Senators. It's the hockey the NHL team for here in Ottawa, mm-hmm. and I had to do this skit where it made this hockey player look like he was driving my truck. So I drove all aggressive, and it just showed him getting in the truck. Well, this dude mm-hmm. was like the number one fighter on the team. He was always in the penalty box, like this missing his front <laughs> teeth, just a just a bad dude. <laughs> and he got in that he got in that truck. He couldn't even hit the throttle. He he drove in a straight line on the idle. He wouldn't hit the throttle. Wouldn't do anything. He just petrified. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, you'll go out there and punch each other in the face on the ice, but you can't <laughs> you can't drive right. a monster. I, I just <laughs> mm-hmm. you're right about that. So that's why he's saying it, it definitely take a special person, man. Um so. but it, it's uh it, it's I guess because I never knew any better, you know. I've always traveled, my parents have always traveled and I never really came from a regular lifestyle. So. Right. Yeah. But it's, it's great having one, you know, my wife has a normal job, you know, and right. it's great to have my son have a, a stable life compared to what I grew up in. So it's, right. it's good for yeah. him. And, right. So when, so when, go ahead, go ahead, coach. Go ahead. I was going to just ask, do you plan on expanding uh, your track that you have on the property? Like, are you going to do more things? Like you're going to add crawler, crawler section out back. I know you said there's like, there there's elements that are there currently now, but, but do you see yourself expanding on that? Uh, I'd like to, I, I have a lot of room out here. I have actually just cleaned a lot of brush out away from where the track is. So I could expand it and do a few things. I want to do like a freestyle track and I'm sure it'll ever, ever keep evolving. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually all the trees have grown in now. I, it, all the leaves are grown in, like the grass is really green. So if I do film yes. back there, it's just going to be unbelievably green. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you see my Instagram story I put up the other yeah. day. How just the crazy is growing, it's green. <laughs> yeah. Like leprechauns jumping through here or right. something, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thoughts on the rock ray? What's that? Isn't that the rock ray or the soup? Yeah. What's your thoughts on the yeah. rock? That thing is an animal. Mm. It, 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 it's the fastest fastest RC I have. I mean, it, it would trump the X Max. It would. It's just crazy. Dang. Uh, it's not a basher. It, mm-hmm. It's very. I don't know. It's in a league of its own. It's mm-hmm. just. It's a hard. It's a hard one to drive. That's what makes it fun. I think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like uh, what did you see Rock Ray? Mm-hmm. What's that? What you was, what, what car was you speaking about? I the, missed it. The super, I can't hear you. True. It's a super Rock Ray. Okay, yeah, I got one of those too, man. It's a bad boy. That's, that's what I mean. Bad like, boy, right there. That's what I was saying. It's a hard RC to drive, and that's what makes it fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you 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 can break that thing without even thinking about it. <laughs> so it's like, you can hear me now. Well, yeah. me, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Y'all hear you now. I'm I'm not a breaker, so I don't break none of my stuff. Oh, really? <laughs> and I keep my stuff in, in working order, man. I don't. Uh, no breaking just for me. Hey, I gotta take break. notes. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 wheels, the wheels just the wheels just keep coming off. Yeah, the X the X Max is like, I don't know, it, it's really tough. 
Man. Really, it, you got what, I do the I, I do the WD forty soak all the time. I don't know if you guys do that. Nah. Yeah, I put WD forty on. I mean, I, I have a cardboard box over here that I, I take the wheels off. After I clean it, I'll pressure wash it. Then I'll air, air nozzle it off real good. And I'll set it down in my cardboard box, and I will just literally get it dripping wet with WD-40. Let it set for 24 hours. There's some stuff uh, this guy told us about it. This is what I use. I don't use the WD-40, but I use this now. T-150. Yeah, I've seen that. The Toro. Toro T one fifty. Does it soak in pretty good? Yeah. It's it pretty much does the same exact thing. And then yeah. the good thing the good thing about that is it's used on lawn equipment, right? So once you've gone out, you ran it through dirt, whatever, grime or whatever it is, once you go to blow it blows it off and it's like nothing was ever there. That's what I need. So it doesn't keep things caked up as you know. Normally, you get your car, you blow it off, but you still have your dirt and muck around yeah. the bearings and stuff like that. When you spray that stuff yeah. on before running, when you come back, blow everything goes away. Hmm. Huh. Where do you get something like that? Uh, I don't know if you guys have a, you guys have Ace Hardware. I know what you're talking about. I don't have it well, up you, here. You though. can go. On, you can go on. You can go on Ace Hardware's uh, website and you can get it from there. It's hmm. like nine bucks. I have to look into it. But yeah, I, uh, I'm a big believer in that. I, you know, since I started going a lot bigger and bigger with the X Max, it's mm-hmm. it's a tank. It's a flexible tank. <laughs> Definitely, I think is I think to to anybody that's going to do RC, that's the number one vehicle you want in your collection. If you want, yes, yeah, sir. It's not like I, I'm not a Traxxas fanboy. I'm not an Arma fanboy. I'm not. You know, I just I like what's cool and I like what's tough and I like. Mm-hmm doesn't matter if it's awesome i don't care what brand it is right so i mean uh big shout out to horizon hobby though they uh they hooked me up with the creighton they hooked me up with my smt 10 uh so and i really never really sure i've never really seen an arma in person until i got my creighton they sent it to me and i was very impressed by it how fast it is how much it does i want to get it upgraded a little bit but Mm -hmm. i'm pretty impressed with it i do like the creighton a lot Mm -hmm. nice Get the RPM yeah, arm. Yeah, I got the beautifulest one on on YouTube. Get the RPM arm. Is that the V4? Oh yeah, uh, you have to take it back to a gap. Oh yeah, I got I got the most beautiful one on YouTube. See it right okay. there. <laughs> nice. But did you see what I did with mine? <laughs> nah, I haven't seen. He got the six X crazy. I put an 18 tooth pinion in it and hit the ramp about. Uh, I think we're about 50 when I hit the ramp. That thing is fast on 18 tooth, ain't it? I couldn't. If it, it, it wasn't, I bet that thing would do 65, almost 70, if you can keep that fronting down. If I was on pavement, it it was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Coach, you drove mine the other day, uh, right? Did you you drove mm-hmm. mine the other day, right? Oh yes, I did. Yes, 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 at the park. Yeah. Um, Looking back. Park. Looking back, I should have kept the 12 tooth pinion on it because after it jumped, it wouldn't have had quite the wheel speed, so it wouldn't have flipped as bad as it did. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It just didn't. It didn't fly <laughs> like I thought it was going to fly. I have problems with my um the drives. The CBDs coming out every time I jump. I guess it's expanding so much it's coming no, out. It's, of the, it's the it's the yeah, what he has is right on the. The, the upper a arm and where the the ball in that uh sits inside the the knuckle yep. that has the thread yep. in his backs out yeah yeah that's right. running and it just backs out of it that 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 allen plug backs out or the ball backs out of the a arm the, 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 it backs out of the a arm <laughs> yeah yep. that that piece right there backs out of there yep I got gotcha. you. Yeah, this was a yeah, so, yeah, so, casualty. Yeah. <laughs> casualty. <laughs> yeah, so I got these right here to go on. Get, put these yeah, on. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you're going to have that problem. I'll just yeah, I tell you. you. I, I, I constantly have that problem with mine. That just started yeah. happening when, when it's coming out of that A-arm. Before that, it always just came out. Once I jumped, it was extending so much that it was just coming out of the the drive cup. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. So, this, so here's a question from uh, and they, they they're asking, what are your thoughts on the primal monster truck? And then I'm gonna go off of that. Is do you see yourself getting a primal? Uh, probably not in any time in the near future. If they want to, if they want to give me one to like run on my <laughs> channel or something, yeah, sure. I mean, but all right. I just, Into I just, plug. it's, it, it's, it's eighty pounds. <laughs> It's eighty pounds. It's like it takes yeah. up the real real estate of a four wheeler, and <laughs> <laughs> right. I think it's I think it's cool. Like it's awesome. All the engineering and all the aluminum. Like I think it's a beautiful piece. It's just not mm -hmm. my thing. Right. Especially for that type of money, huh? And it's expensive. I think I think Kevin Talbot's like five grand into his. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. It's a shock that it's a shock that hey, primal. Send this man a truck to, to try. Kevin <laughs> paid five hundred dollars to ship get his ship to him in the UK. Crazy. Hey, tell uh, if you talk to Kevin Tabbert, man, tell him we want him on the show. I tried to reach out to him. I think, Coach, you uh, you you tried to reach out to him yet? Yeah. Hit, hit, him, talk, hit, hit him up on Instagram. Yeah, mm -hmm. we hit him up on Instagram, Facebook, everything. Yeah, he's a he uh he keeps all his notifications off on his phone, like. Right. So like he, he's a, he's a hard guy. He's a hard guy to get a hold of. Yeah, he got he got too many people hitting him up. So I understand that. So that's why he, he might not see our message. Yeah. yeah, like he has a lot of he has a lot of following, man. Right. I was when, sure I, I, when I called him out, that first video I called him out on. He well, he knew I was going to call him out. We talked about it, and mm -hmm. then I called him out, dude. His fans were like all over my case because like like leave kevin alone like you have no right to talk to kevin it's like it's just a little youtube challenge you all need to calm down right, <laughs> right. They're so i'm not, not calling him names right <laughs> amazing now by 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 you having so many people coming to your channel and and writing comments is it hard for you to reach back to a lot of people also um, I try to remember to answer as many people as I can. If I like, if I think it's a question that I don't mind answering or something, if it's an obvious question, I don't usually answer them. I'm like, I think like, the answer was in the video. I'm not going to answer the question in the comment. Right. So, right. If you're watching the video, pay attention. <laughs> and then some of the questions they ask, you know, it was in the video. You know, they didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah, like, I try to get back, you know, if, 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 you know, if I think it's, you know, a great question, yeah, I like to answer them. But. Right. But you get so many. It can be, it can get overwhelming overwhelming with the, uh, the comments when you have so many. Once you get so, yeah. so many subscribers. Yeah. Some, some people, 98% of people on YouTube are great. Everybody is respectful. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves what you do, but you always have that, you know, mm -hmm. percentage, that percentage of, you know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was looking at your video and you had thousands of thumbs up and you got eleven haters. I thought to myself, man, you just got to love them. They, well, you, hey, you're doing something right if you got people that don't like you. You got to love them. There you yeah. go. Yeah, my motto: you ain't got no haters. You, you, you ain't, you ain't popular. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, I, Kevin says the thumbs down even do good for your video because it's still it's still a the, the number one the worst thing you can do to somebody's video is not click on it. Right. But if you That's clicked right. on it and gave it a thumbs down, you still gave it attention and YouTube acknowledges that. Right. You're right about that. You just so gave them they they're hurting. So when they think they're hurting you, they're actually so, helping you. <laughs> hey, and there, hey, and there's some quick thumbs down. Like as soon as I post, sometimes like five minutes later, there's a thumb down. So you know they're notified. <laughs> <laughs> Got notified haters out here, man. Yeah, uh, all right. You subscribe, and that means they're subscribed to your channel. Yeah, exactly. It's like okay. so what's it's going like, on? You got the notification that you just posted a new video, <laughs> so let me go watch it and then thumbs yeah. down. Make sure you watch that ad too before you use that thumbs down. <laughs> right, right. Oh, cool. Look, yeah. Watch the ads that come on first. Right. Yeah, watch that ad. Don't you hit that skip button. Right. <laughs> Hey, uh, thank you, Black Wolf. He said he knew he must have came from your channel. Yeah. Or somewhere. But definitely, so, uh, he, def, 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 what's up? Go ahead. No, nah, 
But finish what you said. I just had a question. Go ahead. Finish what you were going to say. No, I was just going to say it, it, it's definitely been great, the RC community. Like, I have people telling me now, like, oh, we like the RC content more than the Monster Truck content. Like, well, I really wasn't expecting this, but I'm just going <laughs> nice. to keep rolling with it. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And then the more ideas you – you're coming up with ideas that people did oh, somewhere, you. but not the they way think. you – you know what I'm saying? Not the way what you did is, What it is is people think it. But don't do it when, but what they think you actually put in the motion. So they're like, oh, well, that's okay. I can do this. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I just, I just try to think about what haven't, what haven't people done on YouTube with an RC car. Right. right. You know I mean, but yeah, because obviously as soon as people... I showed, as soon as I showed True Boys that new ramp that you were building, he was like, oh, I need that. I would just <laughs> say, if you ever don't want that ramp anymore, <laughs> I live in Atlanta, Georgia. So when you come down here to drop, <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you at the Mercedes Benz in my truck and I'll pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, that, you don't even have to hit that ramp hard. It just sends it. Yeah. Like, you can just coast up. And I don't know if you see when I was jumping it easy with the X Max, it was just still going far. When you when you over the, over the trash can, the little stuff that was behind, I said, Oh, he's going to hit that. He's going to hit it. He's going to hit it. And he said, Ooh, Right over the. Wow. <laughs> see me? I would have hit it. <laughs> yeah, I would have hit it. <laughs> See, see, the beautiful part about that is if you hit the dumpster, it's great TV. If you clear the dumpster, it's great TV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you hit it, it's even better TV. Yeah, just, just that's why I'm more, I'm, I'm more brave with the X-Max because I literally have pretty much every part and multiple of every part. For mm-hmm. it. So, But that's, that's why I, I have so many parts because you've seen the video where I went on the Monster Jam courses and drove them. Yeah. I wanted to make sure – I wanted to uh, – that's a rare opportunity. So I wanted to make sure my X-Max was running no matter what while I was on tour. Mm-hmm. You know what I did? That I seen that was crazy. That 6S motor and the 8S factory motor cost more than our big block. It's like $300 oh. for those factory motors. Yeah, I got one. I got a <laughs> – that don't even make sense, do it? Yeah. Nope. I just looked it up the other day because uh, that's uh, the one you want your X Max right there. Beast Boy asked me about the factory motor I had still, and I looked it up. So. Gave him a price, and when I looked up these motors, they like three hundred dollars. I'm like, what? I only paid like two hundred and something for mine. So, so V two V is that's what you run stock motor? Yeah, that's the six S motor. That's what that's what Kevin Talbot runs. Yeah, you gotta, gotta get the big block, man. You gotta go with the big block, man. Let's Ugh. see that. That's six. We, we were just uh, we were just talking about this. I I don't want to go. I would love to put a bigger motor in, but if I could support it at both ends of the motor, mm-hmm. because yeah. all all that man, some of the hits my X Max takes that thing. If you watch it in slow motion and pause it, that thing is completely and it just yeah. no, it's it gets crazy. And he was saying by us having that bracket, that L bracket, mm-hmm. uh, motor mount, every time we hit, the it's bending. It flex. So it's that's bending. why I'm going through these gears like that. So I actually want to get that 6S motor that he has because it's a higher KV. And and that's why it's now, so quick. Now it's going to run hotter quicker. Yeah. So put some Nick, Nick's turbo fans or, or, or get some from um, – Mike Ward, they got those big old fans. Yeah, I got the, the stock fans that came on the 8S, but I'm not sure if they're working. I haven't heard them kick on lately or seen them. I don't know if I don't – Some lately I've been filming with the X-Max. It's not like I'm out there bashing it for, you know, 15 minutes or 20 minutes. I'm literally, like, getting the shots, like, all right, let's do this big jump right now, and that's what I've been right. filming. Right. So I'm not, out, I'm not out there for an hour with it, so it's, it's working right. out for me that way. Now if so you're that- bashing – if you're, like – Running twenty minutes straight, and the sixteen hundred kV night might not be your motor. Okay, all right, You're right. So that's the drone on the wall. Do you drive the? Do you fly the drone? Uh, that's a that's a that's little cheap. That's a little cheapy drone, right? Drone right there. I got a I got a Phantom Three at home. I left it in Maryland, but because uh, I, I usually do get some drone footage in my videos, but I haven't had my drone with me, so right. <laughs> That Phantom Three actually had good uh, quality. I tell you what, if you can fly that drone right there, you can fly any drone. Mm-hmm. 
I look like those. <laughs> that thing is hard to fly. Mm-hmm. Well, they made it easier with the, the new ones that kind of levitate themselves, and it's a little bit hard. But well, that one, if you you have to keep this like. It doesn't idle. It doesn't have an idle set. It won't just sit there. So it's like it's the constant throttle stick up and down. Right. If you get good at that, then you can fly the the uh, right. the video drones no problem. Right. What do you say, Coach Bob? Is that uh right, is that baby. the uh is that the one tenth Baja on your shelf back there? Uh, which one? Come out. Which one? Is that is, is that the Losi the Baja? Oh, that's Bahari. the one six. One six. Is that the one six? Bahari. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I almost when I was in Anaheim when I got my Super Rock Ray, I almost got the Baja Ray, but I seen the Rock Ray on display and I got it instead. Yeah, the Rock. It's 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 similar. It's similar. The driving style is it's it's kind of like the UDR. It's it, it's a little bit easier to drive than the UDR, but it, it's, yeah. it's 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 an awesome rig as well. It's an awesome rig, but it's it's slightly different than the than the Rock Ray. It's just a tad bit different than the Rock Ray because it seems like it's a little more stable. It doesn't roll as much as the Rock Ray does. I gotcha. Mm, but the only thing, it's, also, the, it's also only 6S and not 8S. Yeah. The only thing that I can complain about the Rock Ray is the batteries. Putting the bat, like, you know, with oh. the. the... <laughs> That's the worst. That is the worst, bro. That uh, is, the, it's a headache, man. And then you mess up all your uh, your wires, be getting caught. Yeah, it's, it's a headache. I don't know why they did that. They yeah, should have just did I, like the DBXLE. Well, I have to like drop my car to get the batteries to come out. Damn. <laughs> well, hey, look, you got to you got to roll it up. You got to roll it upside down to get them in. <laughs> well, back to the, you're like now, this. Now, what is that? This is the uh, Red like Cat Cat. You can get this one for four hundred bucks. You'll like this for backflips. Is it is it six S or four S? Six S. Man. Yeah. Is, is, it, is that similar, is that that's bigger than the max, right? Um, slightly. Yeah. Not a, not a lot bigger. Slightly, ever so slightly. Yeah. I I can't bring myself to buy a max. <laughs> well, it's a uh, price. It's pricey, definitely. And you got to do the wide kit on that one. Yeah, but just when you I don't get the know. Wax, it's a monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, is it? You have, you have one? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I got two. Uh, got one right there, and then one up top. No, I, I, mean, I, I can I can honestly see him if you were to get the kaiju and send it off of that ramp. Mm-hmm. Epic. Was that, 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 that? I would want to see how many back foot you could do with it. That's is that an armor infraction up there? Yeah, oh, yes. his head, yeah. Silver bullet. That's a silver bullet. Yeah. Wolf you ever jump that thing? No, sir. No, sir. This one too. This is <laughs> definitely awesome for a backflip. It's one of the best ones to get. Is that the outcast? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You would love this one. Yeah, they uh when they um when I got my crate and they asked if I wanted the outcast or the crate and I was like, more of a longer wheelbase kind of guy. Yeah, but that one, that one there, you would love with the backflips. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. The Creighton is awesome, though. I, I mean, I can't deny that one. That's why they made it an 8S version. So yeah, that was that was great. But the 8S version, you're gonna wanna change the diff fluid, the center diff, and the pinion off the back because it ain't fast like the X Max at all. I mean, it is. It is faster, right? Out, out of the box, the X Max is about two miles per hour faster. Okay, but if you put a twenty-three two pin in there, it 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 it'll swallow the X Max up on the speed. Right there, you go. I put yeah. the twenty-four. You can just tell that the the eight the Creighton eight S would be faster than the X Max. It's just it's it's built. That's the well, thing. Like people want to com- people want to compare them, but to me, they're totally different. Totally. Things. Totally. The X Max is the ultimate basher, and the eight the Creighton eight S is going to be your send it vehicle. It'll it'll fly further. It'll right. it'll tracks. You know you can take it on tracks. It's mm-hmm. just more for that. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely it's definitely the better racer. 
Cause it 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 race, man. It it holds it holds its own, especially if you can if you get your steering dialed in just right. It hold it holds its own against eight S rig. I mean against uh one eighth scale rigs. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about it it's 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 amazing. It's amazing to race it. Uh, yeah, the, the X Max doesn't steer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, I, when I run it around on my track, I did it just doesn't steer like other the other like the Creighton will or the yeah, you're right. Once you uh change that gear on the AS Creighton, uh the front tire is gonna be ballooning so much you wanna do that tenor diff. Oh uh, yeah, you, know, you put the thicker oil in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um Kevin uh Kevin put uh those earplugs in his. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what most of the guys are doing instead of just going out and buying that. Is it is it's cheaper, right? Yeah, you just pack them full or right. You could honestly I don't see why you couldn't just put like a like a thick like Lucas gear oil. You know, you know what mm -hmm. I'm talking about? Like a really like a sludge oil. Mm -hmm. Put something like that in there. I think it would help too. Say, but with the right. earplugs you don't uh I know you can do it to where you actually lock it or you can just put just enough so it still has some some give. Yeah. Not okay. breaking parts. I didn't know that part. I, 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 we, he, uh, one one time I couldn't get my six S uh, slipper my six S X Max the slipper clutch kept slipping I could not get it to stop so I drilled them out and I put two screws through them all so it was <laughs> it was solid slip. then <laughs> it was non slip. Hey <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the big the big rig a lot of people sleep about sleep on though. Is the DBXLE? The DBXLE is a awesome bash. The, the 2.0. Yeah, it, it's not gonna hit no backflips, but as nah, far yeah. as it jumps, man, it jumps so smooth through the air, man. You don't gotta do a whole lot of correcting. If you hit that throttle just right coming off the ramp, man, that thing is it's a thing of beauty, man. But when yeah, it hits the ground, you're gonna be like, good God Almighty, what was that? <laughs> I've had that thing in my sights. I, I yeah. really, I really like that. Yeah, I think I think that that that'll be a good one, man. They 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 handle they handle pretty good, man. They don't threaten to roll over. They that's they 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 are awesome rigs. Now the five the the five T, like I wanted to, uh, like we were talking about that getting one and converting it to electric. What would go in that? Like the the Mamba Monster or the? Nah, you want to go with the ZTE. Um, the I think it's a three hundred amp ESC. The ZTW. ZTW, yeah, and it can run 12s, and you can go with like something like the Castle 2028, and uh, mm -hmm. just run it on 12s. Mm -hmm. yeah. Crazy, 12s that thing. But once you can, once you get the car and convert it and everything, you're like 20 some hundred in. You're into it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the, the the convert the conversion kit itself is seven hundred dollars. So you're looking at you're looking at fifteen fourteen hundred for the car. Another seven hundred dollars just for the conversion kit. You're looking at about two hundred and something dollars for the for the uh, the motor, and then the ESC is about almost four hundred dollars. So you you coming out of some change, yeah. Three thousand dollars. That'd be a bad ride though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. There's one. Uh, there's a John Big Big Bitcoin GTR. He has one, and he's running on that. He says dual twelve S, but we say twenty four S. 24s mm. uh huh mm. how is it uh from the video he ran he ran it uh i was gonna say are you able to show it true or no i can show i show i ain't gonna show no video but i can show him the car oh, yeah, just, uh, uh, copyrighted but, but 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 from the video itself of it running i mean he was in an area that wasn't too open but it it moves I show you the video. I show that part. I show the part where he got it from the guy uh, at, from the hobby shop out in the parking lot. Yeah. Let me go to. Yeah, well, you guys get that load. I want to go uh, grab some more water. Is that all right, guys? Yeah, yeah you're good. Okay. That way, I can just hey, find exactly where it's at. You meant to say Barker. <laughs> what happened? Remember when he first came on, he said it's Barker. <laughs> he was messing with us, I think. Get the ZTS motor. 
And ESC, the ESC don't like that 2028. 20, that ZTR motor runs better. <clears throat> Bitcoin. Don't go on in chat and what it do. Do not copyright me, Bitcoin. Uh, coming to Tampa. You only stay a couple hours away. We're going to pull up. <laughs> I'm just playing, big bro. We're going to pull up. About to pull up, bro. About to pull up on you, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Now nah, I'm playing, bro. Big shout out to you, man. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate you, bro. Mike Support Ward that. in the building. What's up, Mike Ward? Jack H. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat right now. What it do? If we didn't speak when you came in, we apologize. Yes, sir. What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. we here. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, the dual, this is the dual 12S or 24S low C5T. It's that ZTW uh, ESC. Let me show you. Now, see, do you have to make your own battery packs basically at that point? That'd be huge right there. Uh no, nah, you can you can you can get uh what uh four six right? yeah four six that, F. that is an ESC right there <laughs> yeah that is a, a monster is that is that four RC like you know radio control stuff I mean that's what it's I've yeah, never seen two, it yet yeah, yeah two of those. I'm trying to think if I've seen this build come across my feed before on YouTube. Quite probably did because he got a lot of views. He get a lot of views. On his dual? Dual motor? Mm-hmm. Dual twelve S motors, I believe. Yeah. Dual twelve S motors, dual twelve S ESCs. And then I'm gonna show you how he ran I give you a little audio because that way you can hear. How he tearing, but that tire is whipping. Alive, guys. It's alive. That's how I want my foot, my five T to run. That's enough. That's enough. We know it works. Holy shit. Do not break it. I'm tired of this. Oh my gosh. No. The freaking stock tires are smoking. (laughs) Bitcoin off the chain. That's crazy. I I don't want to get copyright, but. Wait a few seconds and then play it again. I think you could play 15 seconds of some other video. Smoking? <laughs> Matthew, you did good, boy. Oh. oh no, we lost the tire. We lost the tire. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. That's well, a big Bitcoin tire. Bitcoin just joined Bitcoin in the house. <laughs> hey, Paul, what's up, family? But you know we had to get you on there. All right. What's up, family? No see five two five T owns. Yeah, dude. He got some that's incredible. Crazy. Tony, what's up, Tony? CCX. Yeah, that's the that's the actual owner of that low C five T is Bitcoin GTR. That thing's impressive. Mm-hmm. The dual twelve S five T. Should launch that thing wide open. <laughs> <laughs> that break a record. We just we just like because I done show send something quick. They be talking junk, but I'm I'm ready. I'm down. I I show you what I did to my age man. <laughs> yeah, he gonna put he gonna put twelve S on a rustler. On a rustler. Yeah. <laughs> true right, rustler true, that. True, yeah, true. True gonna put it on a, on a two wheel yeah, two wheel drive rustler. Yeah, <laughs> right. For, well, Ferrari with a Ferrari body and send it on 12S. <laughs> Day right. I'm sending mine too. 
who makes those ESCs? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was uh, is that Hobby Hobby Wayne? We'll look we'll look that up for you. I'll look that up. What's that? Hobby Wayne makes those DTW. Um, ESC, right? See, I I thought about I thought about going to a Max Five ESC in my X Max for the the late cross. For when I try to hide the lake. you can't go wrong with a, a, a Max Five. Well, I got a Max yeah. Six in there now, but I think a Max Max Five can take a lot more current and won't heat as fast. Let's see it right here. So it's three hundred for the ESC. You could get the motor combo for. Seven hundred and one dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. See, it's I think the, yeah. I think the motor might be able to take it, but I just, I'm not sure on the ESC. And we'll find See, they, out. That's why. That's why I got to get on that lake and just really start experimenting. Yeah, they put a lot of those ETWs in the five T. Man, that 2028 motor, you only need one motor, Mike, and you put 12S on that one motor, that 2028 Castle Creation motor. That's crazy. Yeah. I oh! Oh, man, was that yours? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we both there you go. It, bro. Yes, sir. Uh, go. That's a good send. Yes, yeah, sir. We're going to get it. I'm knocking off everything. <laughs> Is yours pretty much stock? No, nah, mine got the 800 kV motor. In. Oh. Uh, I'm talking about like, uh, you know, like. like oh, yeah. 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 Everything else was basically stock. Everything yeah, is I'm a huge believer in the stock parts. I mean, our, obviously you can't go wrong with like RPM, A arms, and things like that. But plastic, right. man, got to keep it plastic. Right. I, the only thing I did do was the uh, RPM axle carrier. I think it was the front, right, front or rear, mostly. Most of the uh, all the uh, the caster blocks, the hubs. Yeah. One of those got, They come with a bigger bearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one I got. That that piece that I just broke when I was hydroplaning after it backflipped. Mm -hmm. it's, it's funny put. it's funny I'll put my X-Max through all those giant jumps I do that little jump out of the pond hey and, that's what I'm going to tell you breaks. <laughs> get breaks. these uh, Duratrax uh, Hatchet X tires they're awesome the what is it the Hatchet X the Duratrax oh yeah. okay oh. Yeah. Ke I'm not sure if those are the ones Kevin are they Kevin put those on his I seen he put a new tire on. It was now. What's yep. the? Are, are they heavy? They they a little bit, but they they ain't bad. Yeah. They ain't bad. I I, will, I recommend them. Man, I got a I got a whole mess of X Max tires down here. I got a collection. Every every you know here and there, I'll just buy two. I just stock up. Buy. Two. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the um the the Badlands are heavy. Yeah. It's, it's funny because every time I have an idea I want to do with my X Max, I'll run it by Kevin first because I know he's pretty much been through everything with his. These ones are way heavier, I think. Than yeah, all they, the they are. They are for sure. Yeah, I didn't like these ones. They, I mean, they're great for digging. I'll tell you what I do like. I love the look at the X Max trencher. Like, I think they look awesome. Oh, it looked like a monster truck with that, bro. It, it's just, but the weight of it, I just can't. I, right. I, I want performance. Like I'll, I'll take look or performance over look. Right, man. I, this one guy had the trenches on his, and I had the Badlands on mine. His X Max looked it just like a uh, monster truck. But I was, we raced on the track. Got down. I got down on him. That yeah, was fun. Those, those trenches on that Badland rim with that bead lock and everything—they look pretty nasty. Mm-hmm. I do want to get a, I do want to get another UDR and just completely deck it out like all aluminum like just make it just make it ridiculously nice and just Dude, have a, 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 just a shelf queen then I'll have my basher UDR and just, I'll have my shelf queen UDR. 
Oh, I seen um XO Cage. I know you spoke about him earlier. He did the uh, the transmission. Yeah, he has all his. He has a lot of money in his UDR. Yeah, man. Well, I don't, I don't know, know if it's money or people sponsoring him for his videos. I'm not sure exactly what his I deal think, is, but they, I think they're sending him parts and stuff because he do a lot of parts um, reviews. So I think. Yeah, I, I really like his channel for that because if I have thoughts of like, oh, what's this motor combo like? He's pretty much put every motor ESC combo and everything, so he's right. definitely the one you want to go check out for that information. Yeah, he's That's from Jacksonville, why right? <clears throat> hmm? He's up in Jacksonville. Yeah, he's like an hour away from us. I don't know. I spoke to him. What is your favorite RC monster truck? Me. Mm-hmm. RC. Well. I, I mean, the SMT-10, I guess, would be the, like, are you talking about scale-wise? I mean, it would be the SMT-10, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one, too. Production. I mean, obviously, people make those real custom, like, what they do, the uh, the RC World Finals, you know what I'm talking about, those guys? Yeah. Yeah, the, the pro mod. guys. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, for production-wise, I think SMT-10 would be... It's great beginner RC, and it's just a great RC all around. Mm -hmm. They make those uh, into pro mods. Trigger King, no limit. Yeah, actually, I know about them, and they actually made me want to get one of those SM. I remember we were, we were talking about that. What it is. And then they have the uh, what's the other uh monster trucks they use the the cloud busters the cloud busters they turn yeah over. the old school and um uh, exo cage is the reason why I went with that motor and ESE and the gears and stuff I spoke to him about it and I seen his video but then they did a video with the twenty twenty eight motor so I want that one for sure and, and the UDR. Then the um, X Max. Oh, the X Max. Right. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. that's the movie he has in it now. The 2028. He, what's the big block? Is that the 800? 800, 800, 800 KV copy wing? Yeah. He or put the, that in the UDR. He put that in the UDR. Wow. I ain't see, see that I'm one. Pre <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure he put that in the UDR. Yeah. But yeah. It, it, what, it doesn't make them that much faster. They're just torquier. Yeah. It's just, it's a fact. Yeah. You got a lot of. Out of torque. That's what I like about that six that sixteen hundred KV motor. I mean, the top end is there. It doesn't run out of gear. It seems like it's just it just keeps getting more and more. Right. Yeah. So that's what. But you can't even run it for long, as you were saying. Yeah, I've gotten it so hot. The only reason I have a spare sixteen hundred motor right here is because when I I don't know if you've seen the video I did where I swapped the motors out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, right after, right after I swapped that motor out, I filmed with the 1600 in my 8S. And then after I got done filming, I was running around a little bit and it started acting weird and it acted like it burned up. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I had to film. So I ordered another 1600 KV motor, have it, had it like two days or three days shipped from mm -hmm. California to have it so I could film. And then I went, I went to my X Max to go change it. So I started I started looking at my ESC. Went to unplug the first wire, and it was out. Oh yeah, so you got lucky. Oh, uh, I know you was like, mother. <laughs> I, like, I spent like forty dollars on shipping to get this one motor here. <laughs> on wire. Yep. Uh, I be watching some people videos sometimes. Like, check the wire. <laughs> I can hear yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah, I just never thought. I guess when I was putting it in, I was mm -hmm. testing the wires, and I didn't shove them down all the way. You know, mm -hmm. I, I make sure everything works before I shove them all the way into the ESC. Mm -hmm. You can always tell when it does that skipping. Yeah, it cogs. It's like, er, 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 er. Mm -hmm. oh, I was pissed. Mm -hmm. I was so yeah. mad. <laughs> I know. But that motor, that motor was so hot, I couldn't even put my finger on it. Like it was, yeah. it was steaming hot. Man, tried tried some of those Nick's turbo fans or uh, Mike Ward, which is he's in the uh, comment section right now. I think. Did you say he came in, Coach? Yeah, they, Mike Ward's in there. Huh? Mike Ward yeah, is he's in, there. in there. All right, I'll show you their fans right quick. 
Are they better than the stock Millennials? Oh, man, bro. I'm going to show you. I won't believe it. Uh, probably, oh, oh. It blows so it blow so good, it probably uh end up start flying. All right, let me show you. I'm right here. I always have to want stuff open. I need to close all this. There we go. Y'all can see. If you're down with it, like I was saying, I'm gonna take this right off, right off over here. Those are the plans right there. And then I wanna oh, I think huge. The red with some carbon fiber wrap to get it all murdered out. I watched it. Somewhat match the kill me. See if I can get you some. Um, that's a shoot. That's a big fan there, but he even went even bigger. Let's get you a video. Of, you can hear it. He likes to, after a good hard bash, he likes to shore it out. I got to redo that one for a customer. They went with those switches. This is why I didn't go this route. So you have to connect for your switch, right? But I keep having this fucking problem. By your chair. I'll tell you no, it's a serious problem. There you go. Right and you can run it off a of battery. Oh, yes. Oh. FYI, don't get those batteries and shit. <laughs> My deal, I'm saying. But yeah, that's them. They, uh, they're very big and they, they keep it cool. <clears throat> Are they heavy? Is there a big weight difference? I don't know. They might be. Mike, uh, what you say, bro? Are they uh, heavier? I haven't uh, gotten one. I think uh, maybe Earl might have had one. I'm not sure. Any of y'all guys got those uh, fans out there in the comment section? You guys wouldn't believe like how strict I am on weight. I The reason I put this body back on is because it's lighter than my brute body when mm -hmm. I hydroplane. Mm -hmm. So time I put all the floats in and everything, it's – how much the brute body weighs without floats. So like, I oh, yeah. That's crazy. Think, constantly thinking of how to shed weight. <laughs> that brute body is like a harder material, right? Is it made out of material? Yeah, it's a lot, a lot thicker. I, mm -hmm. I had, I debated by the, the, the aluminum hexes on the inside of the wheels on the hubs, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Those aluminum yeah. hexes, the up, the upgrades, I debated putting those on because I didn't want the weight. <laughs> like I just, well, I know it's, it's. I know what you mean. for the jumping, right? Yeah, just it just well when you take something mm -hmm. that like people go, let's put it this way: people go, why don't you put a GoPro on your helmet inside the monster truck? Well, the thing is, if I mount that GoPro, now you take the weight of that GoPro and you add nine G force to that GoPro, then what does mm -hmm. the weight of that GoPro become? Right. Uh, yeah. You know, Correct. that could be an extra. That could that could be an extra ten pounds. Under right. heavy G force. Correct. Uh, well, yeah. Oh, I like too. the brute body though. Uh, we oh, like beat. So beat the hell. Yeah, we like all around RC, man. All around RC. I, I really dig the half a windshield. I'm I'm I've been rocking that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> And then the pressure washer blew off my windows, so I sharpied some in. <laughs> Man, that actually went like window down a little bit. It's like you it just is. ride through the neighborhood with your windows down. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what yeah. I tried to make it look like, but I'm not an mm -hmm. artist. Hey, my good. And it's hard to, uh, to, to write on those bodies, right? Yeah, I don't. I thought about doing a video at one point where I just like, you know what? I am, I am really getting sick of the white. So I thought about being in the video. I'd be like, you know what? Just being real obnoxious and just hold it and just spray paint the body right there and just put it on the truck and go rock it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Now everybody going to tune in too. 
and nobody doing it. So it's just, like I said, I, lo I love my RC cars, but at the same time, I don't care. That's why I have fun with them. Right. And it was hard when I was crossing over to being an RC channel, a temporary RC channel, you know, a full-time one. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was starting to not have fun there for a few weeks because I didn't know how to fit in into the RC YouTube world. You know, I right. couldn't find my, my style, mm -hmm. you know, finally finding the style. Mm -hmm. I was like, why, why am I stressing myself out and I'm not enjoying my RC cars? It's not what it's about. So right. I, I, I kind of, I kind of like restructured myself. Now, do, when, when you're doing your videos, do you more, you plan it out to what you want to do and how you want yeah. to look? Yeah, it's I have like a rough guideline in my head, but mm. I don't I don't like acting. I don't want to make it seem fake or like, you know, reality show or anything like that. But I have a guideline I want to keep to, but the rest of it's pretty much just have fun and whatever happens, happens. Right. Good. Show the good and the bad, man. That's what they like. Yes. Yeah. And the more real it is. <laughs> like when when I launched my Creighton and it when I launched my Creighton and it was like pretty much a total fail to me when it, it didn't I wanted to go 120 feet and I only made like 85 feet so at the end of the video my attitude is just so down the dumps like I was just I was so pissed right right I didn't know it when I was racing them I broke mine I was pissed off I was ready to whoop some <laughs> whoop some ASS <laughs> you, hit a, you hit a ghost hole a what a ghost hole. Like a hole that's not there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hit a ghost hole. His front end came up, and after the front came, it bucked him over. And then that's when that piece came out. <laughs> that's all right. I'm going to have my UDR doing Willie. <laughs> oh, Wait. I, see, I, see, I, can find, I found out how to look at the chat on here, guys. I see everybody yeah. on here now. Oh, there you go. You should have said something. We would have told you how well, to get yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Typically, what I do is I'm like, right now, I'm looking at you like I, we were talking before. Like, I have my iPad here. Oh, I okay. have my phone with the chat pulled up on the other side. Yeah, I got, we got so Trailer Trash RC. Yeah. CCXRC. You know what, you know what I do? Icon, Icon, he has two two GoPros and one Canon. This UDR body is a pain to put on the front. Yeah, oh, we have to like it's like a puzzle. Yeah, man, this thing is aggravating. <clears throat> I want that. Yeah, uh, I got... Go ahead. My one, my one bumper starting to break off in the front, so it's about to get easier. Right. That's how mine looking up here like it's about to break something. Nah. Are you, do you do you run your UDR hard? Oh, I just got it. Now. I ran it hard. <laughs> you want to yeah. see? <laughs> I, I kept mine. Mine was a shelf queen for a few months before I ran it. I had to. I kept it pristine until I was ready to christen it. <laughs> Man, no, I, I'm, I'm not easy on these cars. I don't know why. I try to be. Ask, asking him, yeah, it's like taking a kid by McDonald's and saying, "Hey, do you want to have a meal?" He's not light on cars at all. I try. I try, bro. Not it just at all. It just it just don't work out in my favor. Like I show you what I, I just got to jump some too. I know a lot of people ain't jumping these cars, but I just got to jump some. Oh, that's a good side hit. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was definitely a cringe hit. You're right. <laughs> I just can't stop. Man, what? Let me see if I can find some more. I'm, I'm working on the video, actually, so I'm almost done with it. Does anybody else have those days where you go out and it's just like you can't do anything but wreck or do the wrong thing? Oh, my God, bro. You're telling me. I, I, it's like it's like 10 minutes in. You don't even want to run it anymore just because it just beat the hell out of it. Anything I could find, I was trying to jump off it, too. Uh -oh. Yeah, I have this problem to it up. Uh, well, so I had to wait till I bring out the video. Everyone, it's a uh, rendering. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, it's right now. So I'm a, uh, I'll be putting that video out uh, within next, not tomorrow, because I got the night run. I did a night run with the UDR when I first got it, just to see how the lights look. So that, that video is coming out tomorrow, and then the next day, that video there will come out. I, gotta, uh, I think I want to put some music on the video. I'm not sure yet. I already saved it to where there's no music on it. I, I use uh, right. Epidemic Sound for my video. Yeah, that's what I'm using right now, too, bro. What is it, like $10, $15 a month, I think? $10 a month. Yeah, and uh, then you it, it charges you more as your channel grows, like if you're getting more views, and then... <laughs> that's the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. But at that so point, it's paying for itself anyway. They go get some go, I think it should go the other way. It's like, oh, wait, it should go down, not up. They figure they you make it more you make it more they right, gonna make yeah. It. yeah I already need a new body from that bad and my dog already bit it too oh, <laughs> Jesus my dog left his teeth mark back here somewhere I'm not I, uh, I got my when I got my UDR like right after I got it I found I found out they started making the blue ones I'm like damn it <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I went into the portal. Like <laughs> you said you wanted to be on for an hour. Are you still good to go? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, all right. Yeah. <laughs> You've been on for two hours rocking out with a. We appreciate you, Matt. I mean, no, it's cool. It's cool to sit back and talk to people about RCs like this. I mean, I'm up here with my yeah. family and everybody, but I'm really kind of the only RC enthusiast around the area. It seems yeah. like <laughs> so. <laughs> it seemed like. Really you make a post on Facebook and then everybody want to come join. You probably yeah, not that, that do it around your area. I mean, I think there's people around, but you know, the whole lockdown thing, it's kind of holding people. Yeah. People have left me comments saying that they have groups that are in Carlton place. That's the town I'm in here. It's, mm -hmm. it's a town of 15,000 people. You know, they say there's a group in here, but right. I, know, I mean, I, re I really don't, like I said, I, I don't talk to like setting, like I said, sitting here with you guys talking is awesome. Usually I just make right. a video and put it out. So I'm not really amongst RC people. It's just me making right. a video. <laughs> right. So how, how far the, down the road do you feel like when you're going to get the 5T or you think that's just like down, down uh, that when I have 20 some hundred dollars to do what I want to oh. do. <laughs> <laughs> I pay, me too. Me too. Once the sugar right now, come back, right, right, right now, I like it's right now like two grand would be really important for the channel, like to keep the channel right. going. And, right. So, I like the five uh, B. Also, you seen that one? What is it? The uh, low C five B. Buggy. I'll show you. It's almost like the five uh, T, but a uh, buggy, buggy, buggy version. I think you'll like that one also. I've seen uh you ever watch uh RC Max UK? No. Oh man, you're missing out on some I mean you I don't know if you like gas like that, but they got some big horsepower gas cars. Uh this is the five T. This is the five T. Oh, where's the five B? They haven't even sell it no more. But this is like the five B right there. Oh, that's the big one, right? I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, is that the fifth? Is that the is that a fifth scale? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same size as uh, the five T. Yeah, they have them. That that hobby shop that you actually have pulled up, they do have them in stock. Yeah, I think these. Is that the price? Yeah, bro. It's a kit though, so just is you know what I mean. I do that all day long before the other one. That's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah, it's it's a cool car, man. Um uh we got uh Jay Mitch, he has that one. Um what's Mr. Mother, Mr. Mr. What's his name? Mr. Brushless. Yeah, Mr. Brushless got it. Man, they they Mr. Brushless actually put twelve S in his. Yeah. And that that thing is cool, bro. He got the five T and 12s he got the 5b and 12s 
Yeah, Tony. Yeah, cool. it's only through DDM. I just feel cool having eight us. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm ready for more power though, to see what it's like. But I think I don't think it's like it's like because once you put it in the you putting a twelve S into a bigger car, so it ain't gonna be no more faster. It's just gonna be fast as the X Max, and you, it's a bigger car, so it's gonna be fun. That's what I think. Well, I mean, you got the look at the Creighton eight S. That's a heavy, big vehicle. Right. Eight S. You know, and mm-hmm. that's obviously a vehicle that could take 12S. And that's why I was telling them I'd put 12S in there. Everybody laugh. Because I think, Everybody I, think laugh that, I, I would imagine the 5T and the uh, Creighton 8S would be about the same weight category. Close. The 5T is a little bit heavier. It's a little yeah. bit, not much, but it's, it's a little bit heavier. But when you look at the in person, though, the girth of the 5T – it, it 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 trumps the Creighton 8s. Yeah, that's and all that stuff. It make the Creighton don't look that big. It make the X Max look like a baby. I was mm. at a show. I was at a show last summer, and before the show, they were playing out in the on the racetrack, and I think they had a bunch of those. I didn't get to see them up close, but I'm pretty sure they were a bunch. Of, they had a bunch of five Ts out there, and uh, they were big from a distance. No oh, man, they're huge. It's it's a guy. It's a guy out in Atlanta. He comes out with us. As a matter of fact, it's on it's on one of my videos on YouTube. And he um he ran his with us. And man, it when he pulled up next to my crate, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. How big that how the the sheer size of it is just amazing, man. So if you can get that, if you can get that rig to do 58 to 60 miles per hour, that's unbelievable. That's got world record distance roll all over it. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Exactly. See, oh, no. the problem is the problem is with uh, the problem with distance jumping is the wind, the factor. You get the faster you go, the worse mm-hmm. your wind is coming off the ramp. Right. And so it's like so it's like you need the weight ratio to like you need a heavy vehicle to go far. All right. So when you're doing a jump, throttle. Uh, you know when you're doing your throttle. So you pull throttle. Onto the ramp. Do you let go as you're hitting the ramp, or are you still holding the gas while it's hitting the ramp? Uh, when I like when you see me jump the X Max, when I jumped over that dumpster, mm-hmm. it's actually easier for me to fly it if I just do one backflip. You know, it right. Just, so if my truck is completely upside down in the apex of the jump. Mm-hmm. And usually when I let, I can let off at that moment and it just comes right around to the perfect spot. So mm-hmm. it's upside down in the apex and it just usually just brings itself right down. I don't know. It's just. So it's just you, you the gas the whole time until yeah. you where it's at. And then you're. Pretty much until it's completely, when it's completely upside down, that's when I let off. Okay. And then, and as it's rotating, then, then I start. So as it's coming in, that's when I'm, I'm ready for the brakes. So if it's over rotating a bit, I'll just touch the brakes and she'll just come. Right down, and then when you're landing, no gas at all until no, no, no gas at all unless unless it's like nose diving, <laughs> then I'm panic revving. <laughs> right, and then you're trying so, to pull to get the front end up. Right, yeah, I just want I just want to pull out of the devastation. Right. So once it lands, do you let it roll? If it's not about to hit anything, do you let it roll and then you hit your gas or? How long do you wait until you hit the gas once it lands? Oh, until it's back on the ground and has forward momentum again, then you can get off. What you don't, okay. what you, what you're not, you're not wanting to do. It's the same thing in the real monster truck. It's a big no-no to land on the throttle in a monster truck. That's just what okay. you don't do unless you have to. But you know, it's just, it's when your wheel speed exceeds the, your momentum. That's when you're going to break parts. Okay. Thank you. You know, that's. But hmm. you know, you just want your wheel speed to always be pretty similar to your momentum okay yeah i need i need to know that because I, I don't know i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> like that's the only sense. way i can really word it yeah it makes sense it makes sense so you'll um, see us like when i when i drive the real monster if you notice like we'll tap that we'll tap the brakes in the air mm-hmm. we want to so after we hit the brakes and level the truck out we'll pop the throttle again just like an rc car get your wheel speed back up and get ready for landing okay 
Yeah, it makes sense. There's not there's nothing worse in the real monster truck is when you you deadfall with no wheel momentum. Like if we're in the air and the truck shuts off, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. hurts. You ain't gonna land there. You have no energy. You have no power to, you know. When you land with momentum, you're dissipating energy. So when we jump straight up, all that energy is just going straight down. Right. Man, that's crazy. Definitely feels a lot bigger than Creighton. I mean, those, those, mo- there's, those Monster Jam tracks, man, they're they're pretty brutal on your body because we go straight up, straight down. I mean, no, that's like, that. You know, I, I don't mind flying 120 feet, you know, because it's actually a softer landing. Right. Yeah. Then thirty Sweet. feet up and eight, thirty feet up and eighty feet out. That hurts. Right. Yeah, I thought about that. Now, uh, you know, you being in that, the uh, how is your your seat? Is it a lot of cushion? Mm, it's hard cushion. We actually the the bottom of the seat is really hard. You want to be as one with the monster truck as you can. You want to okay. be as tight as in, you know, like no room for movement. Okay. Yeah, I know that guy. When I strap in for a freestyle, like when I'm getting ready to be called to go freestyle, I will. We have a ratchet on your lap, on your lap belt, so you'll ratchet pretty much to where I can't breathe. Right. Like it's hard. It's hard to take a breath, and that's when I know I'm tight. Right. Hmm. Now, do you have a oxygen thing in there, or no. is it helmet? No. Some people run the whole ventilation system and things like that, but I don't. I'm I'm too much in and out of the truck. You know, I I'm an independent right. truck, so I'm. I do look over and work on my own truck and yeah. And so you're independent and and that's, that's a little different from, you're not, you have a sponsor though, right? Product sponsors. Okay. Well, the trucks, monster trucks were, were paid to perform. You know, we're not, we're not out competing for a big purse or a lump sum. You know, we're, we're paid to show up and do our job. Right. You know, but once in a while, there might be an extra incentive in there to run harder, but other than that, I get paid the same. Right. So is it basically like a salary? I have a salary, basically. Right. So I get I, I get paid a certain amount for each show I do. Okay. Cool. And like when you when you get to the show, like how long before like do you ever get to a state where you can relax for a minute before like a day or two before the races or it's just, it's wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. In and out. No, not necessarily all the time. I mean, it's, we, uh, if we go on the road for three months or three weeks to a month and then we'll travel to the next, next stop. Uh, like last year we spent, we camped inside the Atlanta motor speedway infield for a week last year before we got to our one event. So sometimes it's like camping. That's what's up. That's okay. what's up. You can enjoy it. The people out there also, why you just chilling, waiting on your shows to come yeah, up? Yeah, I, what I enjoy traveling is like eating. I, I, I like eating different places, like going to the south and eating down right. there, or going to the west coast, or mm-hmm. going up, going into New England, eat, eating the seafood. Mm-hmm. That's cool, man. The lifestyle, I know it's hard, but, and I commend you on it, and I wish I could be in that position because I definitely rock out too. And, and, <laughs> Bro, just keep doing what you're doing. It's a blessing. I yeah. I hate I missed half of the show, man, but I had a lot going on. I apologize for that. I apologize to you, v 2 I apologize to I everybody talk. in the chat. You're good, you know brother. You're good, big brother. Good, man. You, know how, you, know, you know how your family is. They come and they just don't want to go. You have to basically kick them out. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> but I tell you what, v 2 vs if you ever in Atlanta, you need anything, man. You need to, somewhere to crash. You need you just want to drive RC cars. I'm on the way. Well, I was supposed to be at Atlanta Motor Speedway again for the uh, that Summit Car Show. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Yes. That big summit. I was there last year, and it was a great event. We were, they were going to have us back, and uh, obviously that got canceled. Yeah, COVID, COVID, COVID struck. <laughs> yeah. 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 They messed that's up. That's a sensitive sub. That's a sensitive subject with me. <laughs> yeah. So when did they did they did they give you like a clearance? Did they say like when when is the next race suspected or what? Uh, uh, there's some fairgrounds that are still, you know, there a go in August mm. and late late July. Hmm. And do you get as paid of, as as of right now? What's up? You get paid the same by them. 
as I mean, arena. I think some some shows vary. I mean, it all depends how hard we're going to run. Monster Jam, obviously, we're going to run really hard. Right. When I go to a fairground. I still like to put a good show on no matter where I go. But if you go to a fairground, obviously, you don't have to set the world on fire completely. Right. Right. Yeah. That's cool, bro. We, so we call me, running, me, running accordingly. Yeah. Right. So let me ask you, how many different levers and, and steering wheels are actually in the truck? I just have my steering wheel, and I have my rear steer. No, no, sorry, I'm trying to do this on camera. So I got my steering wheel here. Then I got a handle right here next to my rear steer. Mm. There's a switch on top for my rear steer next to my steering wheel. So I just go back and forth, back and forth. It's it's like a video game. Man, that pe- I sat there and watched you do this. I'm like, man, how did he just do that? You looking straight ahead, and you sit over there at that panel that you got buttons on. You sat there and pushed the button and you didn't even look over there. I say, what? Man, he knew his car, bro. He Muscle memory. Car, bro. <laughs> he didn't even look over there and push the button. And it's above his head over to the right, and it had like 20 or 30 buttons on it. He pushed whatever oh. button he needed. And Man, none of, those but- none of those buttons are for looks. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I only use three of them. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's it's definitely uh it's definitely a different machine. Like that's that's what's cool about it. Like I'm a huge I'm a huge exotic car fan. Like my goal in life is I want a Lamborghini Performante. That is my goal. That's and cool. but but I I do remind myself how fortunate I am sometimes because I I take it for granted sometimes. You know, I'm just always around it. Grew up around it. It's just something that's always been a part of my life. So to set back sometimes and be like, you know what? I'm driving something that's more rare than any exotic car. Something mm-hmm. that so many so many people dream about doing. So I do remind myself sometimes how fortunate I am. Like I have to. You know, it's just mm-hmm. that's how humble you are, man. We appreciate that about you. Mm-hmm. We appreciate you coming on our show, man. That's yeah. when 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 Icon told me that you were like, yeah, you'll come on the show. That was like. Because we had already talked about it in the chat, you know, who all y'all, which we already knew who we wanted on here. Us three, we already talked about it. And we asked the chat, and they said you. And when you said yes, that was, that's a plus, big brother. Epic. It was oh, epic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no problem. Yeah, the icons, he hooked it up. Yeah. yeah. Icon, mm-hmm. big icon. That's he, had how reached out, he reached out to me, and he was like, oh, yeah, he wants to do it. I gave him your phone number, and I really wasn't expecting you to, to text him. And then I get the text, and I was like, oh, shit, he texted me for real. Like, You're right. <laughs> <laughs> he, hey, hey, B2B, he was starstruck, B2B. He was right. starstruck. He was going to say, hey. Right. Hey, what he was starstruck. Oh, what do I what say? He answered. Right. right. I was like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, wait, bro. Uh, no, man, no worries. Cool. Uh, it was, it was, so they, asked who, they asked who inspired you to uh, jump into a monster truck. Who inspired me to start driving a monster truck? You know, yeah, to get in one. Or jump to jump. Yeah, I guess that's the same thing, jump in a monster truck. Um, I just, I like I said, I did FMX, and then my parents have always done it you know, all my life. Well, my mom did it for six or seven years and my dad's always done it. He's still doing it to this day. And I don't know, I guess it's just, just where life took me. Yeah, I guess it's like, I fought the monster truck thing. I did freestyle motocross. I didn't, I didn't want to do monster trucks there for a little bit. It's just something I, I wanted to take my own path, but then the older I got and it just, it just seemed like the better route for my future because right. dirt bikes dirt bikes weren't going anywhere for me and everybody loves monster trucks that's not going anywhere yeah even this hard even this hard time right now in the world monster trucks are going to come back because people love them so much mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now when you were younger did did your your family get you a like a smaller version of a monster truck and were you like driving those at, at a young age I I had Power Wheels Jeeps. My dad put car batteries in, so it had more power, and he put the battery <laughs> in the back. So I was riding wheelies. I was riding wheelies in my Power Wheels Jeep when I was like three. Right. Uh, uh, well, I started riding dirt bikes when I was four years old. So that's that's when that was kind of what I did was dirt bikes. Mm-hmm. And you uh, did. 
for dirt bikes for 22 years. Hey, what is it? They said, what is it like doing a back flip or a front flip in a monster truck? I haven't done a front flip, but I did a front rollover. But back flips, it's like a roller coaster you have control of. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just there's there's something about when you're coming up to that backflip wall for the first time. Like if first time you ever do a backflip, you're coming up to this wall and you're thinking to yourself, "This isn't going to work. This is <laughs> this is not right, and it's not going to work." <laughs> but and it feels like you're hitting the wall. It really does. As soon as that truck hits, as soon as those front tires hit, you just mat the throttle, everything it's got, and you'll mm-hmm. you'll feel the back you'll feel the back tires riding up the wall. And as soon as those back tires come off of the wall, you know if you're spinning too fast or too slow. It's like you instantly know what you right. have to do. Right. Next question was, do you think one day uh, all monster trucks are going to be electric powered? No. That, that sound. You lose that sound. Yeah. It wouldn't be considered a monster then. Yeah, yeah. man. That's like, a te- that's, like, that's like a monster truck Tesla rally. You just go yeah, in there. Like, you don't like hear the noise. Puff, that's powder that's powder powder <laughs> It's it's funny. I, it's funny. I I love electric RC cars, but I can't stand electric cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's the fastest electric car, then yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, it's I don't, I don't know. It's just something about like it's a totally different thing. It's 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 not an engine. You're not you're not using explosions to propel yourself forward, and that's what's cool about a motor. Yeah, <laughs> or an engine. Mm-hmm. An engine. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, a motor is electric. CCXRC mm-hmm. said, speaking of smaller monster trucks, just heard the news about Kid KJ. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kid KJ, he drove the uh, the big, I think it was the Big Bear. It was a mini monster truck. I, mm-hmm. I never met the kid, but I heard he passed away, and that was, uh, that's pretty sad news oh, for the man. industry. Man, sorry about that, brother. Peace. Rest in peace, brother. Uh, someone said, "Oh, what what are the chances of seeing you fire up your jet powered four wheeler in a future video?" Of course, I would like to get those back running. We haven't ran those are in probably four years now, five years. Yeah, they're they are T fifty eight turbine engines. They're out of helicopters, mm-hmm. like Vietnam helicopters. So it's a it's about a four foot or three and a half foot jet turbine. It's about that big around. Spins it. I don't know, twenty some thousand RPM at full throttle or full thrust. You got that on. You're talking. You're, talk, you're talking about a fifteen hundred horsepower engine when a nine hundred pound vehicle. You got that on a four. I just uh, look and admire. I ain't doing nothing but listen. looking and admiring. You won't get me on. They're, they're, they're jet powered four wheelers. They're actually best off, based off the uh, Suzuki Quadzillas from the eighties. That's what the front's mm-hmm. based off of. And there's a family in Ohio, the Arfont family. They're very known, very well known for land speed records. And they built these. One was built in the late 80s, and another one was built in the early 2000s. And we have Kamikaze and Psycho. They're twins, but there's only about there's only about five of them in the world, and we have two of them. Where can I say, like you said, you strap in where you where you feel like you can't breathe no more and hold on? I guess. <laughs> Is this well, on your- that. That you lay across it, like you kind of lay forward, your feet oh, are so, back behind okay. you. Like it, it's, okay. it's kind of crazy. So it's like, I don't know if you search, search on, one like, up. Like, got, like, have, like being on a drag bike at a, at a track, basically, you're almost in position to where you're laying out and your feet are back behind you. And you're, ex- ex- exactly. Okay. Yeah. Check, search, search up Kamikaze Jet Quad. All right. Let's see if that comes up. I would, I would definitely like to get them back because they are badass. They wake up. They wake up the neighborhood for sure. Tony, man, appreciate. It. I don't know if you saw my comment, but appreciate seeing that. Uh, those two S passes on that DR10. Let's see what some of these comments are saying here. Let's <clears throat> read some of the comments. Oh, exactly. you see, you see, Ken Block called out Travis Pastrana. <laughs> Kamikaze jet. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. Shut up. The Yokosuka M is <laughs> rocket-powered human. 
don't know if I can search Siri, up Siri, Siri gonna get you a copyright. <laughs> right. <laughs> True boy, you are being copyrighted right now as we speak. All right. <laughs> you are using a voice from <clears throat> Uh, yeah. uh, he had one in the works. Uh, Bitcoin. He got one in. The, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's not ours. That's not ours. But that that one's from Australia, I believe. I think that one has a Rolls Royce engine in it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. The ones sir. ones we have are General General Electric. The ones we have. Strap, strap in and hold on. But that's there you go. Crazy. I've had ours probably maybe 120, 110, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't get down a drag strip. No, that ain't, that ain't too bad. No, see the the thing is with jets, they're not quick off the line, but when they start hitting their top they end, the they start, yeah. Oh man, they gain fast on the top end. Yeah, no, you could tell that once he get down, he got down the line, there was trouble. I think I could run him with my infraction, bro. Like that. <laughs> It like he on a it like he on a a, a, a turtle lawnmower, a ride lawnmower. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna check that out with General Hobby. It's like the old Banshee. I watched both of them guys. I'm gonna check that out for sure. I'd love to have a Banshee. I just want a mint condition Banshee just to put away. There it is. Yeah. That's us. That's that's my dad. Uh. <laughs> What's up, wow. Pop? He's burning a car. Yeah, we used to we used to burn cars. Tell Pops, I said, what's up? <laughs> we, we, uh, we burned a limo together. I was on Psycho. He was riding Kamikaze. We sat together and burned right. a limo side by side. That's the dad right. to have right there. You know, it was, right. it, was at that, it was at that moment I realized I didn't have a regular family. Right, like, oh, hey. Uh, yeah, well, Mikey, yeah, what are we going to do today, Mikey, what'd y'all do? Mikey, what y'all do this weekend? Oh, shit, man, my dad burnt up a limo. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. Get up in the morning, like, son. Oh, that, you know what I think we're gonna do today? I think we're just gonna pictures. get into jet powers and burn, uh, burn a car. There's pictures. There was that was us in Mexico. Those pictures you were just looking at. We were in Mexicali. Keep going. Yeah, that's that was Mexicali in Baja, California. Wow. That's yeah, crazy. I'll see, you'll see me. You'll see me on the dirt bike. I'm riding a wheelie. There you go. That, yeah, that's yeah. me riding a wheelie on my dirt bike. Yes, uh Man, nothing but fun, brother. But hard work. Yeah, we had a lot of good times in Mexico. That's what's up, bro. Who who is that, is that your family here to? No, that's actually I know those people. That's uh I yeah, I know. See right there, you see the truck on the flatbed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who the promoter that we worked for down in Mexico? He would get ten flatbeds like that. Would each truck would have its own flatbed? Some two trucks on one flatbed, and we would do parades down these Mexican cities. Like mm. we, the first Mexican city I ever went to is Juarez, and we did a parade at eleven o'clock at night through Juarez, Mexico. Bro, that's what's up. You want to talk about living life on the edge? You spend six weeks in Mexico. <laughs> mm. that, uh, monster truck, monster truck bus. Yeah, that's ours. That's tight. Yeah, that was good times down there. Now nah, I would have loved to hang out with y'all. Yep, yeah, yeah, see right there? We're, we're parading down the streets. Party like a rock star. <laughs> that's tight. Look at those cars. All these. Y'all had a ball out right there, man. I know y'all had a good time. Yeah, it's... I could I could That's definitely write a write a book on our trips down there. Y'all ever been to Mexico? No, no, I haven't. Back Man, back in the day, but but Cancun, not not yeah. the real Mexico, right? Yeah, like the cities. That's where we met. Like I I've never even been not to a resort. Either. Every place I've been to is like downtown cities, like where you don't want to be. Where you get kidnapped and <laughs> well, it can't. Well, the northern northern Mexico is more take dangerous. When the more south you get, the wrong street, the, and you end up in jail. It well, right. 
Me and, me and my was... buddy got in, got in some trouble down there, but <laughs> I, luckily I, I I paid a thousand pesos. They let us go. <laughs> we were drinking. We were drinking forties walking down the street. <laughs> at one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> no, you are in the afternoon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two tall ass white kids walking down the street in Mexico drinking forties. <laughs> that I'm talking about living a life. Man, we stuck out like sore thumbs down there, man. Got to enjoy the moments, man. Enjoy the moments. I mean, <laughs> were you able to sit back and look at? You know the lifestyle you you was able to live, man. That's gonna be awesome, bro. Oh yeah, uh, I mean, so many so many life lessons and so many. I don't know. You just you gain so much traveling, right? Mm-hmm. So, to experience walks of life, you know, you just don't get stuck in your own little walk of life. You see, there's other out there, right? That's correct. Mm-hmm. What's up, Fall City? Fall City, say what's up, my peeps. <laughs> what's good, Fall? You see what we got? P two V is up here, man. Yeah, we doing it big tonight, baby. We doing it real I'm, big, real big. Mm-hmm. I'm reading. I'm reading these comments. General hobbies. You keep an extra stack just for the cops. That is very true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not true. And and if you and if you don't got money, give them your cell phone. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Look, especially, look, especially if they got an Android, you give them an iPhone. They'd be happy. Oh, I take the iPhone. Yeah, okay. look, dude, I, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care what I gotta give you. Just don't put me in Mexican prison. I'm telling you, oh man, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's, I tell, that, that's one thing that they tell you. Like you know, when you go on cruises, they're like, make sure you stay <laughs> where you're supposed right. to be. Yeah, you know, right. we're off and go somewhere you're not because you can end up locked up over here and then you, we can't help you. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's. Yeah. What's the top speed you've gotten your monster truck up to? Uh, I think I've hit 72 miles an hour. That's bad. It's, yeah, it's making a lot of noise at that speed. How many horsepower? <laughs> Uh, on a good day, like good sea level, good good air, uh, sixteen hundred. That's crazy. See, see, we're limited to our uh, our how much boost we can run through our supercharger. We have a limit, like rules, so we're only allowed ten percent mm-hmm. boost. So we can make a lot more, but honestly, the more power you got, the more parts you're gonna break, transmissions, right. axles, it's everything. It's oh, just, okay. That's cool. In monster trucks, it's it's honestly best rate rate 1500 horse is pretty much the money. That's why right. nobody's ever really got that's why we don't have much more power. We don't need it. We don't really. Shit, that's enough. It's impressive for what they are. Yeah. I, I always uh when we're working on trucks, whether you pick up a little piece or not, you know, you feel the weight of something and it's like, okay, now take this is just one little part to that truck. Now take that and imagine how much that truck is and how right. much it weighs. Now imagine putting all that weight 30 feet in the air. That's just right. crazy. Yeah. Now, when, when you started off or even today, did you ever get starstruck about someone that you looked up to in uh, monster trucks or, or anything that you, anybody that you run across? I, uh, well, I used to hang out at Travis Pastrana's house through the mm-hmm. mid, mid 2000s. So when I was 16, I pretty much met my hero, which was Travis because I wanted to do FMX. Mm-hmm. And he, he's, he's from Annapolis, Maryland. And I'm from Hagerstown. We're about an hour and a half away. And so being 16 years old and meeting your ultimate hero, I mean, that was pretty cool. I mean, right. That's what's up. You know, and, but monster trucks, I really never had a hero in that because it was yeah, in my yeah. life. It was part of my life. It was just right. um, everybody was my friend. You know, I was the kid that ran around in the pit area that I just, I was, right. the kid. everybody was just friends and family. Right. So I was just normal. Normal. To mm-hmm. But as a, as drivers go, who I would look up, who I looked up to while I was getting into the trucks would be like Damon Bradshaw. I don't mm-hmm. know if you guys remember him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember he was the one I kind of be like, that's the style that 
I want to imitate. Right. That's cool. But make make my own style. Obviously, you don't have you know. The, yeah, because you never can do do something exactly the same way as somebody. That's like somebody saying I'm gonna play like Michael Jordan. You can play like him or a little bit better than him. You're never gonna well, play the same way. You have to a, me. A great- to to me, it doesn't take talent to go out there and wreck the truck. To me, talent is going out there and giving a show you won't forget, and that truck still drives off the track. There you go. You know, that's like I'll I'll tell you who's one of the best at it right now in the game is Todd LaDuke. Todd LaDuke mm-hmm. can go out there and put on an unbelievable unbelievable performance, and that mm-hmm. truck is still in working order usually when he's done. That's good. And what what truck is he running? Monster Energy. Monster Energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is that is that the suburban? Escalade, yeah. Escalade, Escalade, yeah. Same same thing, different emblem. I like the la- I like the lady though. I like the lady in the little truck, the little dog or bull looking truck or something. She the last time they came to Atlanta, she did awesome. I took my son and he was like, "Daddy, I don't were you want in, to go." <laughs> were you in Atlanta this year? Well, were you there this year? It was it was 2019. Like, I was there. I was in in Mercedes Benz in 2019 too. Mm-hmm. Yep. I took my son, man. And he was he was like. He always said he wanted to see it, you know what I'm saying? But I thought that, you know, with the pipes being so loud that it was gonna kind of have them like shook a little bit. And when we and when we when we was walking around the side of the dome, you just heard Rah! he got so <laughs> excited, man. He was going, I was like, I was like, come on, man, please put on your heads on your, your headphones. That mm-hmm. I don't need no headphones. I like the way it sounds. I'm like, man, put on your headphones, bro, because I don't want to hear your mama if we go home and you can't <laughs> and you can't have here. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but yeah, he really, he really, he really, really enjoyed it. And I was like, the next time they come back, I got to take them back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's, kids, it's it's so it's crazy how much it consumes kids. Like you you have kids that come up to you and they show you pictures of their bedrooms, like all their toys, and they have hundreds and hundreds of Hot Wheels and their whole house is monster truck and monster jam. It's just it, it it's a part of their life, literally. This crazy look. Yeah, he just, said it's the uh, she drives a Scooby Doo monster truck. The Scooby Doo, yeah, it's it's a lady. She did pretty good in Atlanta too. She did. She 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 was like one of the, she was like one of the crowd favorites. Like a lot of people was excited when she did what she did. Megalodon. Me, and my, me and my wife, and my son went to the monster jam. This was his first time going, and he loved it. Uh, he handled it like a champ. He ain't put on no earphones neither. He was very interested in it. I think these have to download because I I tried to free up some space on my um on my computer. He was just very interested. I think he was only two years old. Oh, he finally put the earphones on. She tried to see if he was gonna be scared. He was not scared. Yeah. These truck. But they were fun. They did the uh, four wheelers. Yeah, he's went. You seen? Was it a triple threat? Yeah, it was a triple threat. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. It was in Orlando. Wish these videos was uh downloaded. It would probably take a few minutes for them to download. What year? What year was this? Uh. 2018, yeah. August 18, 2018. So I'm not, yeah. Gotcha. You know what's crazy too? Megalodon. Yeah, that that's uh that's that's JR's truck. One of JR's truck. Man, the, he showed out that night. I like yeah, this that, one too. Black Ops. That truck's from Delan. The Black Ops one? No, the uh the Megalodon that has that blue really? chassis. That's they that's one of JR that's one of JR McNeil's trucks. Yeah, they've huh. got it at the airport, right? Oh yeah. they yeah. Well, you have you have two you have two teams there. You have Jester right out of Deland, and you have J.R. McNeil. 
with uh, Exterminator. The other ones they go over. Remember the what well, airport torn used to be uh uh yep. Damien? Yep. They back there they have some sheds. They have the monster trucks come back there and then where he was talking about by the Sonics out there by okay. Walmart. Those yeah, must the, be the teams that that, F, that, that FTI garage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is this I'm is reading these comments. Trailer trash. Jr. doesn't like me. The trailer trash and I'm pissed in his Cheerios. Oh lord! <laughs> I thought they was calling somebody trailer trash. I was gonna get pissed. No, no, Garrett. That's his. Uh, that's his handle. This guy, this black guy here, drives the zombie. Barry, man, he was awesome that night. Yeah, he's a good driver. Look at him in the air. Now, I wish these videos downloaded. Next time I have it, I'll show the guys. But he loved it. Look at him. That was the best thing ever. To see That's this all about, man. Face. Huh? That's what it's all about, making the kids happy, making the families happy. and He was just all smiles the whole night. He was more interested. He didn't want to hear his mama. Mama, hush. <laughs> he was looking at these cars. <laughs> yes, man. My son said, Daddy, won't we just won't won't we just instead of getting another car, let's just buy a monster jam truck. I'm like, uh man. I don't think that, I don't think that's feasible. I, I, I don't think that's in our budget right now, bro. That's not that's not quite in our budget right now, man. But dad, it's just it, it's it's just a monster truck. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay. Well no, nah, bro, we can't we can't get one of those just yet. Mm. Yeah, they are. There's a lot to them, man. There's a lot of there's a lot of in and outs that people don't the smallest things. From the large things to the smallest things that make them work. Right. I've had I've had the run of my life going before a couple of times and a wire shuts me down. A wire, yeah. you know, a, a wire breaks its connection. Like stupid things. Yeah. Well, this is what we need to do. We need to put together a X Max Monster Jam. Yeah, X Max Monster Jam in Atlanta yeah. at the at the gap the gap being dome in his backyard, and let's see who can bash it the hardest. We got to go to a clay track, or you can just come <laughs> down here to camp. You can just I come to Orlando for the Camping World Stadium. I'm with the Camping World Stadium. I'm on the way. Yeah. I'm on the way right We're, now. You got to break your X Max, though, man. You said you don't like to break parts, though. You got to. Now, see, I'm going to be the guy that's going to lose, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to lose on purpose, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to lose on purpose, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to drive out of there, though. I'm definitely going to drive out of there. We, we always call them the and Moors, like the and more, like Grave Digger and more. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, so Rick? You said, look, you said, you, listen to what you just said just a little while back. You said a good driver leaves with his car working, right? Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a great driver then, because my car gonna that's be working good. when I leave. That's good, <laughs> it's not gonna be broken. <laughs> Is it a good driver or a smart driver? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I break this one. I break. I break. I break the stock one. The 800 k I'm gonna say. I'm right gonna say. Yeah, you might as well. You got two of them. Break yeah, I could break. I break the stock one, but the 800 kV, I can't break that one. I find when I go out and run my RCs or whatever, like the less I care, the less they break, it seems like. But if I'm going out and trying to baby it and I don't want to break it, that's, that's when, when I they usually break. mess everything up. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. like yeah, that's like a new pair of Jordans when you try to watch watch where you walk, you tear them up, but when you go shoot ba- <laughs> when you go shoot basketball in them, they don't nothing happen. They don't get a scratch on them when you go shoot basketball in them. That's why ain't you look but uh yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to get an Arma Infraction one day, though. I just keep seeing it on your shelf back there. Oh yeah, that that Infraction is is nice. Huh? <laughs> you said what, Coach D? You said I, 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 I said he'll sell it. <laughs> oh no, sir. No sir. And that response, huh? <laughs> no, the this way left, this left is right. left is right is right is killing me, bro. Yeah, it's it's backwards. Oh, no, nice no, collection, man. 
I could just do it like this. This would be better. Just turn, turn the camera screen. on. I appreciate it. It's called the Gap 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 Store over there. Gap Gap's RC Superstore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. RC Superstore over there. You got RC yeah, yeah. on. That's yeah. Silver like that Bullet, man. The Wolf Killer. The Wolf Killer. I've only ever seen one in person. Hey, you see how fast it is? He got Loctite sitting right next to it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, look, man, don't be telling the secrets, baby. Don't tell all the secrets. This is my baby right here, though. This, this the 800 KB. That old like yeah, he got three types of <laughs> a Loctite. <laughs> right. Red, blue. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, I do like those gladiator bodies, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. gladiator bodies. Uh, I, I, I just feel like. It wouldn't last long with me. Just keep keep going, Gap. Keep on going around. Stop sitting on one. Beat. Hey man, that's for that's for another video, bro. <laughs> well, I mean one. the majority. I mean the majority have seen the ones who haven't seen. Yeah, is that the Mojave? Yeah, yeah. That's the two point uh, That's the two point oh. That's the new one. Don't nobody. They the armor made this one specially for the, for the Gapster. Yeah, yeah, let me show him this. Picture. They just told. They just they just told me don't tell nobody. That's all. You ain't clean it yet, so I'm gonna show him this picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's cool. I like the Mojaves. Uh, yeah, your stock yeah. X Max. Yeah, that's the stock one right there. Right, just completely stock Valenian and everything. Yep, stock eight is. Get rid of that Valenian, man. That thing. Yeah. When I, uh, when I got this X Max, I literally had it for. A week and the uh, the ESC caught on fire. It took out it took out my receiver, took out my steering servo, and it started to burn one of my batteries up too. Wow! So that's that's like my uh, my cousin. I just actually bought an X Max today for my cousin. He, he didn't want his girlfriend to know and blah blah blah. So we got it for him. <laughs> I got to pick it up for him. <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, as soon as we unbox it, I'm going to make a video about unboxing it. But I do want to tell him like get that plenty and change, get a hobby wing in there. And just you know, save yourself some uh, fire. Yeah. But they oh, yeah, say, yeah. say they got the kinks worked out with this this last one. They got the kinks or the or the fire the uh, fireball worked out. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> mm, Cause I I changed mine, but I, mine caught fire first. Yeah, I just it's they, they they're fine if you don't give them like consistent current. You know what I mean? Like if you're just on off the throttle a lot, but if you hold it wide open for a long amount of time, that's when they'll start burning up. Because that's what happened to mine. My buddy was running in on concrete and water, just kind of spinning the tires, and it just overheated, caught on fire, big fire. Wow. Like I tell people caught on fire, like <laughs> it was on fire. <laughs> I'm going to go. Uh, they said, uh, they said. Uh, I'm about to start some stuff, but Morgan Kane is the safest driver of Grave Digger I've ever watched at Monster Jam. He never goes all out. Well, some drivers, not every driver's out there to destroy it. You know, not every driver wants to destroy the truck. You know, a lot of drivers have respect for their crew guy and don't want to put that on them. You know, they still want to do a good show, but, right. you know. A lot of people have respect for the machine. Like you, you can tell them the drivers that don't have respect for and the drivers that do. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, well, that guy right there, he's, he's a gap kind of guy. The other guy we was just talking about, that's a gap kind of guy. So where gap. does gap thing come from? Respect for the, respect for the machines. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to break them, man. They're my babies. What, what was the, uh, what, what is, what's the gap stand for? What is the, uh, my my, my coach, <laughs> nobody <in the> here. <laughs> Say it again. Oh, it's uh Gavin Addison and Peyton. Oh, okay. I have if I have a six year old son. His name is Gavin. I have twin daughters, uh Addison and Peyton, and they're five. Oh, I gotcha. That's yeah. cool. They they would, they would they would say Gap Daddy. They would say Gap Daddy. That's what that's how it started. And they, they got I gotcha. Yeah. Hey, this one I'm gonna go on the Mojave, bro. I just thought about it the other day. I'm going that on the Mojave. Oh, that paint job. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. What is, is that a is that a is that a Great. success? Yeah. yeah. Great six. Oh, what paddles ones. are they? Uh, those were the slingshots I had. Uh, pro lines. Pro lines, yeah. I think I'm trying to see. I don't remember I had them so long ago. Who's the Who's the ugly dude right there, bro? It looked like your mama. Look like <laughs> Look like your mama. Go back up. Right. Go, back up. <laughs> Go back up. Eat a middle. Eat a middle pickle. Uh, uh-uh, that, that look like your mama. <laughs> It's gotta remind you of Beetlejuice a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. This is the time I hit myself with the RC. I don't hit myself. I don't hit. Hey, I can't wait till you come down here, Gap. You getting hit? No, you ain't hey. hit. There's <laughs> about to be a fist fight here in the comment section. Looks like over grave digger drivers. Oh God! Oh, no. <laughs> This conversation, man, it's just talk. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have your your preference for who's the best. Right. Like, don't you, don't I, you I, dare I, talk about Grave Digger like that. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> our preference between uh, True Boy and Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Gap is y'all. Hey, man, y'all prefer me because, you know, I'm, I'm when I get down there, I'm going to whoop on their head a little bit. Don't worry about it. you're going to get hit with RC, too. <laughs> this, this, is, this, is, this is that Georgia-Florida con- that conflict. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Got that Georgia, Florida, man. We got it. We got to show them, man. And, you know, we got to show them Florida guys. Man, listen, man. You finna get drug around that that little track around here, man. Oh, you finna get <laughs> Tell you. And what make it so bad, you can bring out whatever track car you got. I'm going to put the UDR on you. I'll better. I'll better. And that's what's going to make it bad. I'm going to You love me in the morning. That's what's going to make it bad. You're going to be like, man, I done bought these car, these expensive track cars, and he beat me with a UDR. Oh, you're going to be hot. So so they're asking, Mikey, they're saying, what kind of rivalry are there? Is it intense that some shows? Uh, sorry, I'm just reading the comment here. What kind? Um, I mean, there's some drivers that don't like each other. Like, you know, like I don't like some drivers. I don't. I'm, nobody names names, but you know, the, you know, we're all people. Some people don't like other people, and but uh, for the most part, everybody's a giant family out there. You know, everybody, everybody will help everybody. It seems like if you need a part, they're gonna help you. You know, but but you definitely you definitely want to beat everybody on the track. There's no doubt about that. And and, and when, if I line up to the starting line with like let's say let's say Corey Rummel, you guys know Corey Rummel. He drives Megalodon and Rage, and yeah. I don't know if you ever heard. He, he's part of Team Scream with Jim Kohler. Mm-hmm. So if let's say if I line up with him, you know, I'm going to race my hardest because he's my good friend, and I want to beat his ass. Right. <laughs> you know, that's right. you know, but uh, yeah, but uh, right. things like that. But some drivers are just dicks, and you don't want to be around them. Right. Yeah, Some of them got that, that, that attitude, like, mm-hmm. they the best. I mean, everybody do that, but some people are just too dang cocky. <laughs> yeah, it's the difference between confidence and cocky, bro. Yeah. I uh, I call I call some people the cool kids in high school. Like, yeah. this is – this is as cool as, you, as cool as you're gonna get in life. So you know, if you want to be a dick, go ahead and enjoy it now because after this ride's over, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a mean way to look at it, but I don't know. Just... Uh uh-huh. it's life. Hey, you know what was crazy? My son, he's baby, and he's only four years old. He knew he knew who you were when I showed him your. That was crazy. He just he just called it out. Right before we got on live, I was showing him your monster truck, and he knew what it was. Right on. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. he loved monster trucks. His mom was telling him who I was going on live with tonight, and he just had to come. I showed him your your uh, monster trucks, and he, he you like your, how, do, how do you like your Kraken 80s, and have you did anything to it? Who, me? I, don't I was talking about got... B2Bs. Don't you, got a, don't you have a Kraken 80s? No, I'm a success. Success, okay, okay. Is that 
Yeah, I don't I don't have an 8S, I have a 6S, but the 6S is awesome. I really enjoy it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's it all is. Bro- it's all broke to hell right now, but <laughs> I got <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't you didn't you didn't uh true board it. You didn't true board RC it. <laughs> I uh I don't know, I just for some reason that jumped in goes plan and it man, that thing just Oh man, I, I cringed when that thing was getting piled into the ground like that. That's the thing. Like people think I'm out to destroy my RC cars, but I'm really not trying to destroy them. I'm just trying to do something mm-hmm. awesome. And it, it, I think it's cooler when it comes out unscathed. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Man, that thing got a go. Yeah, but the the viewers the viewers want to see it break. <laughs> oh, I, know. So, uh, I trust me. I know. I know what they want to. They want to see it break. <laughs> it costs money when it breaks, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. It's a hill I drive at, and every time I go to the hill, by the time I upload the video, the first comment is always, "Man, jump it all the way from one side of the hill to the other side of the hill." Yeah, it's like, and I, 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 I always tell them, I say, "Man." <laughs> Yeah, I say, I say, I say, look, man, I've done it before. Go back and look at my old Creighton video. That's the only car I've ever done it with, and I'm not doing it again. It, it, you gonna have to enjoy that one because when I when I did that, uh, now I'm having clicking in my rear diff. So oh. it's like, ugh, no, I can't do that again. It's over for me. My long, my my rich duper bash is over with. My Kevin Talbert, I'm done. I did it. <laughs> I did my one Kevin Talbert. Now nah, I quit. <laughs> I'm throwing in the towel. <laughs> yeah, it's like I got. I mean, I got a lot of parts for my X Max, but I don't want to break it. Like I, I get upset. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to use my parts. <laughs> I just. Just get them just in case. I, but I don't. Understand. I don't. I don't want to use them. But I think. Uh, I think if I get like another two or three or maybe four RC cars, I'll be happy for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't want. So the what's, what's, to be what's too on your, what's on your wish list? Well, think think uh, I'd like to get an infraction, do some things with uh, this Creighton 8S. Maybe eventually, like I said, one day. Uh, maybe a Max. Maybe I, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I. I, I don't I don't need a max, but I feel like the viewers want to see a max. Like you know, maxes get crazy views on YouTube videos. Yeah, I mean, yes. It's, it's, it's like it's just they're super popular. So, you know, I am a YouTube channel. See that, 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 is, that, 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 that is that is my goal is views. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd and rather. see, that's what helps. The, that's what helps. That's what helps the smaller channels. The smaller channels. It helps us when we have multiple cars because, like, with us, like, like, like your channel, they'll watch you run the X Max a hundred times in a row. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If a smaller channel, if I ran the X Max a hundred times in a row, they're gonna be like, "Come on, bro, put out something else, bro. We we tired of seeing the same old X Max over and over and over." Especially the fact that I don't send it to the moon, they don't yeah. really want to see that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm right there with you, man. Like I. I don't want to be repetitive. Yeah, some of them they might be repetitive, but you know, I, I don't I don't want to run the X Max every video. I don't want to run the crate in every video. I do, mm-hmm. but that's why I'd like to get, like I said, three or four more cars. Maybe eventually, that way you can kind of keep a pretty fresh rotation. But, I, I want to see you get yeah. the, the I want to see you get the red cat kaiju and see how many backflips you can do off of the big ramp. <laughs> it was, it'll be a blur. I, yeah, um, yeah, that thing there is amazing. Yeah, I'm, I think it's now it's going to be. I'm going to go towards like what kind of different ramps can I make? What kind of different setup can I make? How, you know, it's not so much different RCs, it's different setups to jump or do. That's kind of where I'd like to go. All you have to say is, Dave, okay, you built this one. What next? Yeah, yeah, basically. We built that big ramp, like. I wanted to go a little bigger, but you still want to be able to move it, right? They still want to be able to put it mm-hmm. in places. Like it, it's big enough where I can still put it in situations to jump over something or do something with. But it's what is that thing you're building in the corner there? That thing. This this is a 
it's a, it's a, it's a helping hand. A hookah. That's a hookah. It's a, <laughs> that's a, that's a, it's, it's a helping hands from uh, ExtremeRCPrecision.com. So basically, like, you know, you people go to solder things together. You got your helping hands. Oh, I got gotcha. you. If you're blind and you can't see, <laughs> there's your magnifying glass. And then this nice bright, that's what you saw earlier. That bright light that came on. Uh, if I can find my USB port. So, uh, what uh, what what's your guys' favorite brand? Let's say, what what would you be your favorite brand you lean towards? Arma. Um, yeah. Arma. Arma. Mm-hmm. Arma all day long. Because because of because of because of see I'm I'm not that long into the game I'm only about two years in the game, and it was like when that when they when they went years. to that V three, <laughs> yeah it is man yeah man my wife <laughs> my wife probably want to divorce me right now I say she bet you um, that <laughs> yeah we're gonna say that for another for for another live stream but uh yeah man it's. That armor when I when I when I was first coming in the game I got red cat I know I didn't want to go Traxxas because I felt like so many people were 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 super fanboys of Traxxas you know what I'm saying I so I was you know me I'm kind of defiant I'm a little defiant so I'm like man I want to try something else I want to try something else so I got red cat first you know what I'm saying it was it was it was a pretty good car they were pretty good cars but when I got that V3 Outcast. It was a done deal for me. It was like I need everything else that they make. Every single thing else that they make, I have to get. Uh-huh. So, and then it, then it, the, the innovation over the last year, the cars that they dropped, like the Infraction, the Limitless, and the Mojave, and the ADS Creighton, and and all those, the cars they dropped in just 2019, man, it just sealed the deal for me. You know, yeah. I like I like other brands. I I really like Losi. I really like Losi, but to me, RTR is armor all day long. Yeah, Losi is definitely a big scale company. They're more big scale than mm-hmm. that's what they that's what they do. You know, it's just what they're good at. And um, mm-hmm. Arma, I have to say, when I got my Creighton, and I actually sat back and just looked at it, it's like this thing is like it's all it needs to be. It's nothing more than it needs to be. Does that make sense? Like it's it's mm-hmm. so simple, yeah. but it, it works so well. Mm-hmm. But. With that being said, the king of RCs is still the X Max. Hands oh, down, yeah. is the best RC that you can buy. Sure. I mean, it's just it's it's just what it is. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an armor guy. I love I love myself some armors, but at the end of the day, I just have to be real with myself. And X Max is still the reigning champ, and I don't see nothing coming out no time soon that's going to even compete with it. Especially with, with especially something else with a metal chassis. If you don't have a if you don't have a plastic chassis, you're not gonna beat the X Max. Yeah, for it's the flexibility, man. You gotta you can't have something that's rigid when you're trying to beat on it. Exactly. Flex, man. It's all about that flex. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, what about you, Coach D? What's your uh, favorite What's brand? That? Favorite brand. What's your favorite RC brand? For yeah. bashing armor. Nah, just period. Just period. Just period. I, 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 Overall, I give, what's your favorite you, RC I brand? I can't give you that. And I've always said that I can't give you a brand. I can give you a class, and that's it. Because everything, yeah, it's like, it's like we say, the king of king of. What do you want? What do you want for the king of bashing? That's going to be the X Max. Just can't give one brand. I got you. Everything has its own. So expertise. what? Are, what but well, your class, what is your class? Two wheel drive buggies. Black Panther. He gonna be. I told you what he gonna be when I when I get down there. Ten scale. He be the black house drive, cat. Ten scale four wheel drive buggy. <coughs> That's funny. He got the black house cat. Show the black house cat one more time, coach. The what? The black house cat. Wakanda. First. What about you, True? 
You know what about what's, 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 what's your favorite, you know, favorite um, brand? Um, um, I like them all, but it's my favorite brand. Okay, I thought your I yeah. thought your favorite brand was uh was Nyko. <laughs> 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 and Tyco, I thought Tyco, 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 Tyco. and Tamiya was your oh, favorite Lord. brand, bro. <laughs> new Bright, I, I thought New Bright. Them. I thought New Bright. I thought she was a New Bright okay, guy. Y'all was, was about to start a whole bunch of. Hey, you see it? Not now. You gonna get that? <laughs> not now. The chat, the chat gonna go off because we got a bunch of. Oh yeah, got a bunch of, of my favorite brand. More fish fights in the chat. Mm. But see now, okay. So prop kill. Let me ask you a question, prop. Have you raced any other brand prior to Techno? Or did you start racing with Techno? I think Techno is one of the best companies. I, I think and I don't that's, think why I know. I it's, that's why I say it's hard to say that because I just don't see them winning championships when it comes to racing. Yeah, but yeah, that that I mean, but, but just because they just don't, saying. just because they don't win championships, people talk down. Don't mean y'all talk down. Your associated, brand. but associated winning championships. Losey's winning championships. Yeah, coach, but that's if. Yeah, but that, that's that's if you that's if that's if you, but coach, that's if you that's if you you talking about the race scene. But he you know is talking saying? about racing. It's like it's like okay, it's like it's like this. It's like this. It's like this, coach. It's like this, coach. If somebody put a a a, a, a BMW. Uh, 750i in front of you with all the bells and whistles, and they put a, uh, then they put a S class Mercedes Benz AMG in front of you. Right now, you gonna have a, it's one of those you gonna like better, regardless of whether one race better, one bash better, one flip over but, more. It doesn't matter. It's still gonna I, be the one I'm that drive, you like but better. I'm gonna, but I'm gonna drive both before I make that decision. I'm not just gonna okay, look at but you at the end of the day, you still gotta pick. You gotta pick right. right after I've driven them both, but I'm not exactly. just gonna say. But I'm not just gonna say, okay, I came in the game, I started off with this brand, so I'm only gonna say this is the best brand when it comes to racing, which is what he stated. You see what I'm saying? He stated that, so that's why I, I, asked. See, I see. I see. I see exactly what you're saying. That's why I asked: Has he did he drive anything else prior to him saying Techno is the best when it comes to that? Have they have they made advances? Yes, they have. Do I like the quality of their product? Yes, I do because it's strong, it's built right. Yes, Techno has great product. Has great product. They do. Man, bump but, them. Oh my bet. I mean, oh, who, who y'all? That's it. About? See, because oh. listen, 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 no coach, listen, no coach. It doesn't take much to 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 figure out what you like as the best it doesn't it doesn't take much i never i never drove i never drove i had never drove a traxxas uh before <laughs> my outcast and i knew that the outcast was better right just from watching videos i knew that the outcast was better now i, I didn't know that if it handled better or if it was faster or if it was this or it was that but just from the videos I, i've seen the outcast take a major beating and the e-revo breaking on the first jump you know right. what i'm saying it's like Bro, but I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying. At the end so, of the so, day, you know. So here we so so, go so here we go. Here go here's here's the timeline. I started off slash two wheel yep. drive, right? Mm -hmm. When I first started, first vehicle, yes, slash two, slash two wheel drive. Showed up at a track. Hey, no nah, man, you don't want to race back. My next vehicle was a Losi SCTE four by four. After I ran with Losi, I got uh, uh, team associated. Two wheel drive buggy had the team associated four wheel drive buggy. I've had the Kyosho two wheel drive buggy. I've had low C A scale buggies. So I've dabbed in every brand. Each brand has mm -hmm. something they bring to the table. That's why I can't say this one is be like I, I can't. Okay, so out of all those cars you just named, which one, which which one felt the best to you? Which one did you do the best with? Which one did you win the most races with? The, the associated. 
Daddy is then his brand is his best brand is associated no, it for right now. We go right with that. Associated is his best brand. That's his best brand. He won the most races. We all like to win races. We all like to be on the pedestal. We want to be number one. We don't want to be number two. So his number one car where he won the most races where he did his thing was the team associated. So daddy is he a team associated guy. And true, right, true now. is a Tyco right, so Tyco guy and a radio shack guy. And B2B is what about you? Oh, you want me to come in this fire? Oh, <laughs> yeah. right. I don't know if I'm ready to join this. <laughs> I'm the guy that starts a fight and I walk out the back. I mean, I'm a big Traxxas fan. Um, but I like what Arma's doing. I was actually talking to Trailer Trash RC earlier. I was talking to him about this. Like, I love Traxxas with the product that they make, but I don't. We don't like their their public relations is terrible. You know, they're. You know, I talked to the uh, the public relations person for Horizon Hobby. That's the guy I communicate with. He's right there on a, and you know an RC enthusiast level, he's right there talking to you. You know, you don't see anything like that from Traxxas, right? Nothing like that. So I think that's where I have the most respect for Arma, Losi, and the people that are actually in love with the hobby compared to just out to be the biggest company of the hobby. Right. Correct. Correct the mundo. But I, 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 can't, I, I can't say nothing bad about Traxxas because I do like the hop, but I do like their vehicles. That's what I'm saying. Tyco That's Bandit, 9.6 vote up here. But, but they're also yeah, different. That's true. true. I think, true. I think yeah. you know, Armas, Armas so different from Traxxas, you know, and I think that's what's cool, and I like both of them in that sense. I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, thing, the thing that gets me, the thing, the thing to me what makes Arma the best RC company right now is – the way that they listen to the people and they change things. That's one thing that I can't get over with Traxxas. You've been selling a slash since I was two years old, and it's still the same slash. I'm 40 years old now, and it's still the same slash. It's still the same rustler. It's still the same. You know, you, you, you change bodies, and you put some more graphics on it, and you put a body clip, I mean, a, you know, a, a clipless body on there, and you call it, the uh the new four wheel drive rustler, but it's the same thing as the other four wheel drive rustler. Still sitting basically mm. on the same chassis, and that's that's mm. the part that, that it's like screw screw your the people who who rock with you, your diehard fans. You know what I'm saying? Forget that. We're gonna keep putting out this same chassis and changing the body and calling it this. Just they're just like with the with the wide mat, with the kit with the um the max the Traxxas Max. They put out a Traxxas Max. They knew it was too narrow. They knew it was too narrow, but they said, okay, no, nah, we're going to put it out right now for $5.29. We're going to make these people go buy it, and then in two months, we're going to come out with a wide kit and charge them another $60 man, for a wide kit. And that's, those, to me, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Those, those wide kits were already being manufactured before they dropped the max. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's my, that, and see, stuff like that, it makes me feel like you really don't care about what I feel about your product, you care about how much money I want to spend. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's and that's it's it's tough. I like Traxxas. I have a UDR. I really like my UDR. I have the two Maxes and I have two X Maxes. I, I I I like Traxxas, but I just think that their marketing, like their the way they treat their customer, is just not that's not right. And see, Armor's not going to give you that. They're going to give you the best thing they got going right here and right now. Get it? You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they definitely, definitely are the more humble companies for sure. And hopefully they don't forget where they came from too, you know. They, right, they like yeah. iPhones, like you said. What's that? I'm sorry? The guy in the comment said they're like, tracks is like iPhone. Oh, same thing, just this yes, is a different color. Yeah. <laughs> this is the X Max 4.0. We're just gonna put a new color body and some different shocks on it, and we're gonna sell it to you for a hundred dollars more. 
I have a local hobby shop that only carries Traxxas because of the part support. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, the part support, they do have that. I, I mean, I you can't, you can't. Yeah, that's, that's another thing you I do like about Traxxas. Any hobby shop you walk into, you're usually going to find the part you need. But right. I say, like, for some, like it, our, uh, like our, our hobby shop, which is about 25 to 30 minutes away, our hobby town, like, they only have Traxxas and Arma. And Axial. We don't have yeah. no load. Us guys want more stuff available inside that hobby shop. Like it. it... Yeah, Tony, Tony on here. That yeah, yeah, that was a good point. That, that that's the tracks is they're looking for the new users. They mm-hmm. there's more people out there to give them their their money. It's, they're not worried about the returning customer. Right. right. There's more people joining the hobby that's already. Yeah. But you gotta admit, like like a slash or something like that is the ultimate first. Oh yeah, RC car. It's a it's even cool. though it has it hasn't changed in forty years, like he said. But because, you can get the like, hell out of thing. Because like, <laughs> like, 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 when you really think about it, like there there's some guys who get into the hobby who do want to race. You know what I mean? And and in order to make their slash somewhat even competitive on a on a on a track, what do you have to do? You have to go buy upgraded springs you have to get the lcg chassis so why not just if you're already like and like but like you said it's it's they know how they want to make their money they're going to make it off of you anyway because you're going to have to buy those well also i'm even let's say even me when i when i got back into it when i bought my x max i got back into the hobby i didn't really know about you know hpi was still around at the time you know i didn't know about you know, the other companies, it was right. just because Traxxas, Traxxas is the king of marketing and that's mm-hmm. where the game's at. You know, you own the marketing, you own, you own the industry and that's right. what they do. So when I say I want an RC car, first thing, boom, I want a Traxxas because that's all I know. Same goes for uh, YouTube videos about down there. Yeah. It's just, I mean, people only know what they see constantly. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, they did. You're right. Those are those are the two, yeah, that they crushed the world with. Jugging, bash them, break them, you fix it. RC. You too, I, hey, boy. I was actually, when I got my X-Max, my, my 6S X-Max back in 2016, I, we left Vegas, and we were heading to Louisiana. We had a, in uh, I think we were in Lafayette or uh, Baton Rouge. I can't remember which one. And I had I did a display at a hobby shop. Well, from going from Vegas to Louisiana, I was watching a lot of. Uh, actually, it was a Dude Perfect video where they had all the slashes. I don't know if you ever seen that video. Yeah, I did. Like, yeah, yeah. And I watched that. I was like, well, now I really want an, an RC car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I got to this. I had a display at a hobby shop. Worked out great. I wanted the Emax. I really didn't know. I just wanted electric, and I wanted something pretty decent. And they said, we don't have an Emax. We have that X Max. It was the. I never even heard of it. It was so new. Mm-hmm. And I said, how about how about I'll throw some stickers on the monster truck of your hobby shop. You give me that for 50% off and we got a deal and I'll plug you at the show. Every time I talk on the microphone, that's what they did. So I got my X max for $500 batteries, everything out the door. Dang. So it was a, that's love, bro. and that's what got me back into the hobby in 2016. So that's what's up. They used to be straight to the X max. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, do perfect. They they do a lot of RC stuff, man. I like that stuff. That, but, that great video. But, but that's where Traxxas is gravitated to the big, the big. They're not they're not out to help the little channels. They're out to the like the Roman. I seen somebody yeah. leave a comment here. They were at Roman's house. I mean, right. When I was at Roman's, he he was talking about how he just talked to uh, Traxxas was finally going to do a full on sponsorship with him. But I don't know whatever happened. That would but yeah, crazy. he got like I seen one of his videos. I seen one of his videos. It was like X Maxes was everywhere, yeah, and X O ones. And and I was like, oh my! God. You, yeah, I'm you like, wouldn't, oh my God, you wouldn't even, you here. would not believe it if you walked into his garage. Mm-hmm. I, he, I bet it. he, 
I, I bet he has sixty thousand dollars of RC stuff right in his garage, just all tracks and stuff. They just send him stuff. Like, they, this, had, this, they had his whole driveway lined up with tracks and stuff when they came that day. Yeah, I, he had ten X Maxes just stacked on each other on on the shelves. He this one right here was in the box. He goes. We got done that day, and I said, yeah, I w- I've been looking to get an 8S X Max. He goes, well, I got one in the box, man. So at the end of the day, he goes, here you go. Do you have, do you have a batteries in the charger? I said, no. So he goes, oh, here, you'll need these batteries. And he yeah. <laughs> kept handing me all. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. And he does, and, and, and see, I'm um, I'm not sub to him, but how often does he drop videos? He hasn't yeah, made anything wow. since New Year's. He, but he usually does. And, and that's, and that's, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking anything from him. You know, what I'm saying he's 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 a great guy, great content. I'm not taking anything from him. But the smaller YouTubes, man, we grind way harder. We grind way harder, man. We grind hard. You know, what I'm saying we put the content out. We may not be getting as many views. We don't have as much subs. But when it comes to content pushing, we push out content. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying, and I and I just feel like. I feel like some of the some of the some of the bigger names they should look towards the smaller channels because we grind a lot harder than you know what I'm saying. First of all, we're not making money off YouTube. That's just first. Second of all, second of all, for us to get up to that level, we have to continue to push our content. We can't do one video in a month and then drop another video. People are not going to gravitate to your channel. You're not going to get put into the spins that way we have to continue to drop videos so it's like okay you getting two hundred thousand views from such and such channel but you getting the two hundred thousand views over the course of three months before they drop another video you know what i'm saying I, i i just would think that they would go after the smaller youtube channels that's a little more hungry you know what i'm saying that's that's putting out the content yeah, they, but, want, they want the money. Got, they want yeah, uh, the, a company like views. yeah. They they they're trying to get. They want their product in videos mm. that people don't even know what an RC car is to see. Mm-hmm. That's that's where they want their product. They don't want their product. They don't want to give their product to the people that know what they are. They want to, They want somebody that has no idea what's going on to see their product, and they're like, "Oh, look at that!" You know, that's that's where they want their product placement. That's how they get new people in the hobby. But you know? but 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 with that though, with that, with, with that being said, with that being said, right? How many people going into a hobby shop and they see the price of the X Max and they turn right around and go right back out of the door? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't, get, I, I didn't catch that. How I say how I say how many people walk they, they see a video of an X Max, right? They yep. say, oh, man, that's awesome. It's going across the water. It's doing 100 backflips. I want that. And when they get to the hobby shop, their mind has changed real quick because of the price of the vehicle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. When they see $1,000. Most, most, most hobbies, yeah, mo- exactly. Most hobbies that come into the hobby, they're not going to spend $1,200 on their first car. Sorry. It's just not going to be. It's not going to. It's not, it's not feasible. But the messed up thing about it is the fact that hobby shops push Traxxas so much that if they don't get an X-Max, they're going to leave with an E-Revo. They're going to leave with a Rustler. They're going to leave with a Slash. They're going to leave with a Stampede. They're going to leave with one of those cars before they leave with an Armor, before they leave with a Team Associated, before they leave with a Losa. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. it's. I understand what Traxxas do. I, under, I definitely understand what they're doing. But the, for the for the smaller channels, when you have when you have guys who die hard, guys who really watch you, they know most of a lot of them know how much an X Max costs. So our our videos is what's pushing them to go ahead and get an X Max, not those big old the, the bigger channels that's not even really talking about the car. They just doing crazy stuff with it. You feel what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. but well, I guess that's well, a also, I just can't win. Well, and also when people are going to drop a thousand dollars, you know, they're going to review what they're going to buy. You know, a smart person, like when I buy an RC car, I go on and I, I want to find out what's the weak part of that RC, you know? So the, like you said, the smaller channels, they're going to show you the ins and outs of why you should buy it, why you shouldn't buy it. They don't just show yeah. you the glamour, the glamour and the glitz. And I know what you're talking about. Like it's, I mm-hmm. love it when people are honest about something like this part of this RC car sucks, but this part's great about it. You know, mm-hmm. that's what that's what people want to hear, and that's what 
you know, like like we like we talked about uh, Exo Cage. I'm not sure of his name. Exo Cage RC. Mm-hmm. You know, he makes great content because he shows you <laughs> every di- any different motor ESC combo. I mean, mm-hmm. things like that, experimental stuff, and that's the I like watching that stuff for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, that's why I think I need to touch more on that avenue instead of just bashing all the time. And you know, I talk about it now. I talk about it, but not as much as that. But that does get more attention. Yeah, what? I mean, Vegas here. My homeboy is twenty five hundred dollars into his X Max, and he is still running stock. Yeah, because you got aluminum, everything that he ain't got no business having. Twenty five hundred. He got aluminum, everything. I mean, he probably ain't even jumping it though. Twenty five hundred, like. Reef. Is that? Hmm. He might be saying after he break it, he has he just spent twenty five hundred dollars on fixing it. <laughs> <laughs> you you know where traction. I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to give it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to give it the best case scenario. You know what I'm saying? Because twenty five hundred dollars in the X Max, man, good grief. But y'all know that's part of with that. Man. You know that ain't hard. I think Tony said he buys ones that he thinks gonna make the money back. He's gonna, he's gonna, it's gonna take him a while to make it back from that Raminator. Yeah, I can't bring myself yeah. to buy a Raminator. Yeah. So yeah. whatever content is gonna get the money to bring in. Well, see, us smaller channels ain't getting no money like that on YouTube. So, yeah, my, my YouTube ain't paid for not one of my cars yet. Not a single solitary one. You know what I'm saying? Right. Not a single solitary one. And I have a few. I have a nice little bit. And I've made not one penny from YouTube. But I really don't do YouTube for the money. I do YouTube because I enjoy doing it. And I want to push out content. I want to, you know, give give my my incy binksy bit of knowledge that i can give somebody i just want to you know and then just bring people into my life you know what i'm saying into what i have going on no that's that's what it's truly about then man that's that's why youtube was created for the fun of it to it it wasn't in the beginning it wasn't about being a big brand you know a person being a brand or this or that it was just about putting something cool out there for people to watch and uh you know yep. everybody now Everybody, everybody out there now wants to be this huge multi-million subscriber channel and their own clothing company, and that's what it is now. That's what it evolves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody wants yeah, to get to the point where they where they can do they can they can be comfortable doing this. Yeah. Wow. Well, me me personally, me personally, me me personally, to me, I just want to be able to pay for my cars off YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I'm not looking forward to, you know, my, my mortgage and bills, that's going to get paid regardless because I'm going to continue to work. But I just want to be able to, you know what I'm saying? I just want to be able to at least cash a check that's enough for me to go get a car every month or a car every two months or, you know, something like that. Just to, just to, just to pump it all back into my channel. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep continue pumping it, pumping it back and pumping it back and pumping it back. Yeah. But not for sure. <sighs> yet, yet to happen yet. <laughs> I mean, you got a, you got a pretty big inventory setting behind you there. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. When you come, when you come back to Atlanta, no matter whether you bring a car or not, we'll have enough for you to drive. Oh, I pretty much don't. I don't travel without one now. Got reviews, rent a car. Oh, you take it everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. That's why I have got, all my parts. Got a bag with the X Max. This the X Max bag, right? Mm-hmm. So, 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 no, so no matter yeah. what happened, I would always have parts. I would always have my X Max. I would always be ready to rock and roll. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. We get hey, we got B2V in the neighborhood races. Y'all coming soon. B2V in the neighborhood races with the gap shirt. <laughs> I ain't gonna take it. Look, I ain't gonna take it easy, easy on you either, brother. Oh, uh, I wouldn't want you to, man. <laughs> oh, I just seen a question. What do I think of the Traxxas Bigfoot 01? Is that you talking about the, the two wheel drive stampede Bigfoot? It's better to let the content make the money 
and not be under obligations. That's right. Who said that? You, Tony. Uh, yes. Tony. Mail. I just read some of the comments. The uh, the Bigfoot oh one. I he's I like that. Yeah, he's saying yeah, the stampede. Yeah, the stampede. I just wish it was four wheel drive because that's the body that he has on his his uh car. So that's what I need to do to buy the same truck you have and just take that body from the Bigfoot, which you have on your your truck now. My SMT ten. This Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the car he's talking about because that comes two wheel drive, right? That yeah, that's the stampede right here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I would take that body off just like you did and put it on the SMT 10. This thing was picked like I do. I've had C10. I put this thing up to 3S. I've done, I've picked all the parts off of it. And now, now that's a question for you. How do you like two wheel drive cars versus four wheel drive? Uh, I'm a four wheel drive guy for sure. <laughs> you yeah, the man, always, brother. You the man. Four wheel drive. <laughs> I just. Nothing yeah, against two-wheel drive. drive. Uh, I'm nothing against two-wheel drive. It's just I'm just a four-wheel drive guy. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. He said the 80s body. So that's the blue body one with the motor sticking out the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool yeah, yeah. Oh, big light one. one. You got a light oh, big on the top. The full, the full light bar. <laughs> trailer trash. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, big foot two. one. I got you. Trailer trash says you can't. Trailer trash. Uh huh. You say what? <laughs> I, said, well, I see him. I see him. Can we block him? Can we can we block him? <laughs> Get him out of the chat. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I've got the footage calling him out, though. Who calling who out? Trailer trash calling out of uh, Mikey. Oh yeah. You don't want no smoke. Uh I I've seen what he got. It's 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 cute. <laughs> you don't want no smoke. <laughs> hey, I think what you got is cute. Hey, Tony, Tony, I think you need to jump that raminator and try to catch it in the air. I'm telling you, <laughs> catch it in the air. Yeah, he's gonna be breaking a good insurance. You got some good insurance, bro. You go, you go, you go tell muscle in your back. You'll, you'll see the jump, you see the camera tumble, and then the next thing you see is someone picking the camera up and him on a stretcher. Hey, no, he's gonna be in a wheelchair, friend. Right. <laughs> Put your mouthpiece in, right? <laughs> Tackle that big truck. Oh, he said, Now that's an idea. Oh, lord, can't myself to get the SCP. <laughs> I'm gonna get one. Go to whatever go go to whatever sporting equipment store you have close. Get you some shoulder pads, a football helmet. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. What happened to the Bigfoot who started Monster Jam? Oh, Bigfoot didn't start Monster Jam. Monster Jam and Bigfoot had a falling out in 1996 over uh, merchandise. Hmm. Trailer trash, oh, bragging. Called his ex Max, and don't be telling your video is not even out yet. <laughs> See, mm. you'll learn quick. People will steal your stuff. Trailer trash, got to keep it hush hush. Yes. I'm telling you, bro. I don't know, Tony. I don't know if you've seen Kevin Kevin's uh latest talk about his Raminator. He's going to put dual shocks on each corner. I guess, uh, guess that's I pretty see, common. I, I want to see one of those electric. The life you see, I want to see the first the, electric raminator. They say, what's the best that, replacement for the X-Max steering servo? Uh, I just mm -hmm. run. I run stock. I just keep stock. Go, I, on, go on Amazon if you want. Get a 35 kilogram $29 servo. You'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, you can. You just have to get that adapter, right? Correct. Hey, trailer yeah, drive. That's, that's a small one. Right? Mm -hmm. They have a video out by tomorrow on you. <laughs> 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 Wait, we have a video posted tomorrow. 
Wait a week. All my week. all my years with the X Mac uh, X Max, I haven't had any issues. I've had one issue with one servo. Other than that, it's been fine. Yeah, yours went out today, huh? I'm trying to tell you, man, get rid of it. The, X, the servo? Oh no, I think. Oh, you talking about a servo? You talking about the ESC? The, oh, the ESC, yeah, for sure, changed that. But the steering servo in the X Max, I've never really had issues. Mine went. Mine went. And I had to get the upgraded one. And that one's not too good neither right now. I don't know if he talked with me. He said he talked with me about that. My shocks were fine until it jumped. It was broken upper four link and blown sway bar. Saw they break and decided to burn it to the ground. <laughs> that's a five dollars. Don't mind breaking them. Yeah, that's not bad then. Oh, we rocked that tonight. <laughs> yeah, we did. I'm giving y'all a little. I'm giving y'all a pass tonight because I was late, man. I was doing my thing, man. So we got a pass tonight, bro. You gotta go to work, mom. Who? Who? Boy, no. Boy, yeah, I gotta go to work. I gotta go to my. YouTube. I gotta go to my YouTube job. A YouTube right. job tomorrow start at about I got I gotta be to work at about eleven thirty tomorrow at YouTube at YouTube University. Yeah. Okay. Man, I, I gotta make a video. Yeah, that's why I have I, to make a video tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm gonna film about yet. Thank you, Craig. Craig. Yeah. That's how I go. You know what though? I think I need to I yeah. think I need to just take a day. I, I think I just need to take a day to edit, bro, because I got so many videos that's not edited, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. I just think I I, I might not even bash them. Don't run, I just don't run sit down. Car. Sit down and edit you some video. Edit videos. video. Yeah, man. But it's just so much fun to run the car to edit the video. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'd rather just get out there and run the car again. <laughs> That's what I got coming. He don't he, he he's been in what you said two years and he has footage from seven years ago. Who? That's how you ride. That's how you ride so that's, how much, I say that's how much footage you got. That's how you ride a UDR. Oh yeah, I got I got a lot of footage, bro. I do have a lot of footage. You gotta run that thing. Let's see. Let's get a sneak. Let's get a sneak peek, bro. Oh, I just showed him. I jumped that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, jumped that thing, bro. You know I don't care about no car. Mike, I ain't got. Uh, what? Tony said. What he uh, said, Coach? Tony said you should run the lake to a backflip X Max catch and <laughs> before <a> trailer trash RC. <laughs> <laughs> I should. I still got. I still got the paddles on. I should go back to the pond tomorrow and hide your plane to catch. Have a good one. What I do like is the two hundred and forty per second. Two hundred and forty frames per second. Uh, yeah. Hold on. The the one thing I would. Did you just get that UDR? Yeah, take well, that spare drive. Shaft. You take that spare drive shaft off and put it in the toolbox before you lose it, like I did. <laughs> I definitely will be doing that then. I broke mine off, lost it somewhere. Broke my rear drive shaft. Went to go get it. Like, oh, I broke it and lost it. That's great. It sounds like <laughs> torturing a child. What is? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't care, boy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump, twist, burn. I'm gonna do all kind of stuff to that thing. <laughs> what do you think? Trailer trash said, "Dang it, you guys got me editing now." <laughs> that's okay, the that's kind of a, 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 a Traxxas motor in slow motion with no. Vega just ordered his first Losi today. Okay, but no, uh, which one he ordered? I think he ordered. He ordered with a DB Pro. Oh, I don't know. What you order, team? Where he ordered, ordered it from? Oh, this this clip right here. Let me show you this one. I they like was that. in that tower. They was in the DB Pro was in that tower. Love the label. Mm. Check this. Check this one. Out. I like. Was it fast as they come in? They go out. Oh yeah, they going oh, out quick. They going out quick. He, he just said. Oh, no, no. He said he's still waiting for it to come back. I can't. Start. I can't. Machine. Which one? He's it. Yeah, I seen. It. 
He said they, yeah, they're not in stock yet. What uh is that Premiere Pro? Yeah. I, I use I just use Premiere Elements. We should start a no prep. I mean, I, I not. Like, <laughs> he, he said we should what? He said Tony said we should start a no prep street eliminator late crossing drag league. <laughs> Man, I hope that thing can make it across the lake. I'm just going. I'm just going to feel. Put some, yeah, put some paddles on it. I just right. want to be yeah, tracking record. record. Well, what's their record? Twenty two hundred feet. Hmm. They had a big ramp too. What's that? Oh, that's across the water. That's across the water, right? Yeah, I get that. I had a lot of comments on my video, like, "Oh, your your radio is never going to make it that distance." Like, it's a chase boat. You have to have a chase boat. <laughs> chase boat. Yeah, I'll be in a boat. Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll be tight. That'll oh. be tight. Yeah, my, you uh, yeah. My buddy, my or my brother in law, he wants to, uh, he wants to wakeboard because <laughs> he has a ski boat. We're going to be in, and he wants to wakeboard with a GoPro and try to get close to it. <laughs> That'll be tight. Oh, that'll be that. That'll be epic. That'll, that'll be, be epic. epic. That would definitely be. Epic. Uh, but definitely, I'm going to go out and island hop first because I'd like to travel at least like four or five hundred feet on water first before I start going across the lake. I, like I said, I want it when I go to do it. I want it to work. I want it to right. do it. All right. He's, trailer said, "No, I'm beating, I'm beating tracks as a water crossing record tomorrow night." As you told everyone. <laughs> well. <laughs> if, any, if anybody wants to go out and try it, I'll go ahead. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go outside and get me a cup of water and pour it on the ground and go across the water like that. Hey. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't going across the no real lake. I can't see the water that. crossing. <laughs> you ain't about Kool Aid. Uh, oh, we got Overkill RC. What's up, family? <laughs> oh, that's his channel. I just subscribed to your trailer. We got over here coming on the show. Also, guys, make sure y'all be tuned. And everybody's out late tonight. Tony, yes, said, you got, Tony said you guys break records. I'll keep breaking a arms. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind getting in, uh, getting in the boat and taking one of those RT boats. Yeah, I was actually looking at those. Uh, the um. The uh, Traxxas M41. I don't know if you've heard of them. That's a beast. I like it. I, I'm, really, I'm really not into the boats, but I figured I live right here on a lake pretty much, so why not? We'll get one. I like the... Uh, so now we know uh, you like Traxxas. Would you ever look at the Oxidine Marines? What is it? Oxidine Marine. I never heard of it. You could do the Oxidine Marine, or I would do the Miss Geico twin motor. Yeah, I've seen that one. Is that the catamaran? Mm, yeah. The thing's like a thousand dollars, isn't it? It's a seven six seventy something. Yeah, I think I I think I was looking at that today on uh, on A Main. Yeah. Oh well that's why. It's a thousand dollars on A Main, yeah. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, Tower Hop is six something. Yeah, you go to Tower is like six twenty nine or something like that. It's six yeah, I was looking at that. Or six seventy nine or something. <laughs> I'll show you. Well, they say, they what say, rock what did you rock? find, Dave? Under? <laughs> it's from right here. It's six yeah, seven, six seventy nine. Yeah. yeah, that's the same one. That's that's a bad boy right there. And there was a Indeed. there was a guy in here. Well, he wasn't here earlier, Mister Mad. Mister Mad. He has that same boat, and it it's it, a beat. It moves. Uh, he had a hundred with it, didn't he? Hundred and seven or something like that, didn't he? Yeah, more. I think it's faster Two. than that with that one. J JMRC is what rock. Um, Dave Dave is just a, a friend of the family around here that has been around for a while, and I haven't, I haven't had much help with the videos. You know, being here by myself. A lot of the normal person doesn't like being on camera, and I asked Dave one day. I was like, "You want to help me with my videos?" He's like, "Sure, man." And it just it worked out. I don't know if he said sure or if he said hell yeah, Mikey. I'll help you. Yeah, <laughs> kind of that that second one. He was all about it. Hold up, Tony. I appreciate it, man. CCXRC, thanks for the thanks for the comment. It's been uh, it's been.
been a journey converting myself to an RC channel. Welcome, brother. We're glad you're here because you probably wouldn't even talk to us. <laughs> you're like, who the heck are these guys? But like, I, I didn't want to come into the YouTube game, and like, I understand, like, like you know, Tony, Tony, and other RC channels. You guys, like, I'm not trying to come in here and be like, oh, top RC, top. I'm not trying to be the top guy. I just, I just want to join the party. Yeah, yeah, we trying to take over the game. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to be that guy. You try to conquer it. You try to conquer it. Yeah, you're conquering all our dreams. No, nah, we love, we love that you're here with us, man. You, you know what, you know what's happening. You're inspiring. Us and everyone else, you know, what I'm saying to do do more. So we needed that. I mean, yeah, everybody that hop in this game is we we learn so much from each other. We need more people. No, it's definitely the RC family is great for sure. No matter who you talk to, anything. most you of talk them. R- most yeah, you talk RCs them. with you talk RCs with somebody. It's like if you have that in common, it seems like. You know, it seems like you know the person already. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. Right. It's, it's sort of but like the, the humble ones, because we got a few that's not as humble. You know what I'm saying? They they feel like more like, oh, they, I did this, so that makes me that makes me the man. You know what I'm saying? But we all we all enjoy RC cars. You know what I'm saying? No one is the man. Everybody is there's, the, there's no right or wrong way to do it. <laughs> it's like that's what exactly. Let's see how many how many views I get off this video with this title. <laughs> <laughs> and how many people talk crap about the title? Do I like someone someone asked, do you prefer uh RTR cars or kits? Uh, I mean the SMT ten that was a cool build, but I mean I like the RTR stuff. I, I like the, actually, yeah, I like the RTR better because there's nothing better than opening that fresh box, with that fresh RC car in it. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, getting it out of the box and it's like, oh man, I think that's a great, that's a great feeling. So I think yeah. RTR is more fun. Yeah, the, the unboxing, the unboxing is way more exciting with the RTR yeah. than with a kit. Because when you open yeah, that kit, you just think of like, man, it's just more damn. work. I got to put this together. <laughs> I got to put that together. I got to put this together. I got to go buy a motor. I got to get an ESC. I got to get a servo. And it just kills it, even, to, even to though you, you're excited for getting it. Right. Well, and to a lot I, of people, I did, it's intimidating. I did get very I was in, I was intimidated when I opened up that uh that builder's kit for the SMT. And but by the time I started, about an hour after I started, I was addicted. I, I put that together in one sitting. Like it took me twelve hours and I I did it all in one go. Hey, yeah, good. It was like I, I got into the zone. I could, I I'm not allowed to go to bed until this is finished. <laughs> wow. 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 What it took me to build my kit, y'all, what, about three weeks? <laughs> <laughs> took me about three weeks to finish it. <laughs> Man. And, uh, yeah, it was I cool, though. It was cool. I, I tell you what, I, I would actually, I actually thought about getting a TRX4 kit and, you know, building a custom TRX4. Cool. So now I didn't even know those came as a kit. Because I had got a... Uh... I had gotten the ready to run SEX 10.2 as an RTR. And then I was like, oh, wait a second. Now they came out with the raw builders kit. I was like, hmm. But then I got out of the crawling side quick. Yeah, luckily when I. uh, (laughs) Uh, Building. Yeah, that's what I. I had all my. I had all that castle stuff. I had a. A castle kit and everything in my uh, stampede, my Bigfoot stampede, and then I got that SMT kit in. I was like, "Well, I don't know what to put in it," so I just picked everything out of my stampede and put in the uh, the receiver. Everything is with my SMT ten now. So, or nitro cars, RC cars. 
Um, I mean, I just the noise. <laughs> That's just the one thing. I don't know what I'm – something about the noise of an art. I don't know. I don't have anything against them. It's just not my cup of tea. That's all. It's just – plus my neighbors probably wouldn't like it. I don't live close to anybody, but – it would be like a chainsaw. It's like playing with a chainsaw. <laughs> the noise. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. These trailer track, Garrett and Tony are talking back and forth here. Oh, yeah, he was saying he felt like they lived the same life when his uh, wife was filming Tony running around the yard and she was laughing at him. <laughs> Tony, I think I know, your neighbor, what... Tony, I think your neighbors just don't complain now because they they just, they're just used to it. They're like, ah, right, yeah, that's Tony again. That's why I made my wife start filming me. <laughs> <laughs> it freed it freed when I got her to film me. It freed me up so much. Like I could, be, I don't know. It made it so much more fun for me to film. You know, instead of me trying to, when it, I, I never really was used to making videos of just me myself in a video. Because when I'm at a show, I got other people I can feed right. off of and talk to. And now RC world, I'm like, oh man, it's just me. So, well, now luckily I got Dave. So that's that's a blessing. He's helped a lot. That's why I say it. it, it it's everyone wants to have that second hand. They're helping. Because there's just yes. so much you can do uh, by yourself. Just like there's I know only so much. Just like I know when you're out back on your little track, you wish you had someone out there filming. Because every time you're setting up, you're like, I don't know if I'm getting this shot, but eh, hey, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. State stationary shots aren't as action filled, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, man. I got, I got 400. I got 400. I got almost 400 videos, and I've had somebody hold a camera maybe three videos. Really? And one of them was like, one of them was like maybe the third or fourth video I ever shot. Somebody held my nephew held a camera, and then you know sprinkled in, and then two weeks ago somebody held the camera for me for a few minutes at the track, and that's it. I've never had anybody else to hold a camera. It's always GoPro on my head. Turn it on and go for what you know. Yeah, now I got you. I um, I just I like getting into like the uh, like the cinematic side of it. Like I like to go down like little montages, and that's where Dave's really been shining with that. Like we talked about that earlier, he gets in there with those shots lately with the GoPro, mm -hmm. and he's been getting some outstanding footage. He's like, oh, just make. I hope I got a good shot. Then every time I go back and review the footage, it's just like, this is gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when you pick the right song to put it to, or mm -hmm. he definitely makes sure he's right there for it too. That's one. His his energy is amazing. I know, man. I, I owe him. I owe him a case of beer. <laughs> <laughs> He he goes. He tells me. He goes, man. I want your channel to be like millions of subscribers, so you can hire me. <laughs> like, but like, but like, but like, honestly, y'all think about it. Like, if you're if if you are walking around with a camera, you're talking to yourself. I mean, it's it's awkward. Yeah, but I think nowadays, like, since so many people do it, people are used to it, mm -hmm. and they don't they don't see it as weird at uh at the shows when i first started doing it i was i was embarrassed i'm not even gonna lie like it, it took me a while to get confidence to really walk around you know holding a camera like this talking and being energetic <laughs> and but now and now other drivers and everybody around have seen the channel grow into what it is and now it's they think it's awesome they want to talk on the camera they want to be right. in the background you know it's because that's what i say like a lot of the vlogging youtubers like they, they say that like I know I like this one channel I follow, uh, this guy real to real. And like, he lives out in Texas and it was like, they, it was only a few vloggers in Texas at the time, you know, going around vlogging. So of course when it first started, people were looking at them like, what the heck are y'all doing? Like, well, y'all, why y'all talking? But now it's like, 
almost everyone now in that group since they do like the Dodge Chargers and the, the Challengers and all this stuff, everyone now has a camera out. So it's mm-hmm. almost like all of Houston and Dallas are now they're all vlogging. So it's like oh, it's huge. And then California, of course, they it's just normal in those places. Oh yeah. When I was uh was on Sunset Boulevard last year in LA or in Hollywood. And it every I mean it it was crazy. Everywhere you look there's people talking into a camera, walking down the street, vlogging. It's mm-hmm. just and that's where you really feel most comfortable. <laughs> it didn't matter. To me. It's just well, it's, it would look different for me because I I'm weird. I'm weird anyway. So you know what I'm saying? It's like people look at me and I look at them like, "What are you looking at? It's just a camera. What are you looking at?" You know what I'm saying? But it it never really it never really bothered me. It was more like you know just get out there and enjoy yourself. Now I've had some people look at me because see me. I put it on my head and I get I try I try to get acclimated with it being on my head. So when I'm in the car, I'll be riding and it'll already be on my head. So when I pull up, I'm ready to go. So people see it, see me in the car and be like, what is he doing? <laughs> but hey man, I, I don't care. <laughs> no. I'm a little I'm a little weird already, bro. So. Mm-hmm. I'm already a little on the weird side, so. Yeah, this is one of my favorite ones that I did by myself. What the one we did? The one you had? It's psycho. Yeah, psycho. Who's who's is that? Uh, Are they pretty bulletproof? Yeah, I to make weird grunting noises and randomly sing. <laughs> yeah, they're bulletproof. I, the only thing is the, the tires. The tires love to come off. Like you, it's so fast that you end up breaking that that inside X on it. Yeah, I got you. I hate that. But I'll I tell did, you what, like. Did a lot Tra- in that. Trailer trash. I, I, I will vouch for him. He can sing. Oh, trailer trash. We might have to send you the link so you can come in here and uh, sing something. I said you you guys should have him on the show. He's he is quite entertaining. I'll give him that. I know. I was watching his videos. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we can send him the link. He can come in and sing right now. There you go, Garrett. Jump on here. Get on here and sing, damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, but, um, yeah, if this quarantine thing would have never happened, I wouldn't have my workbench and my work area and Oh, yeah, everything everything happened for a reason. Everything happened for a reason, bro. When we come back out, I think we're gonna be a whole lot better. A lot of people are gonna be prepared for moments like this. Yeah, I tell you what, man. There's gonna be a lot of people out there wanting to buy land after this. Mm-hmm. This situation taught a lot of people a lesson. So, you never want to bring your truck up there to Canada, Canada. What's that? Never want to bring your truck up to Canada? Uh, not to stay. I mean, we do our shows up here. My uh, my father-in-law has a really big garage. We can fit three monsters in comfortably. Mm-hmm. So when we're up here doing shows, we always station them here. I, mean, I, get, I get tired of the truck 
man. Like when I'm on the road with it for a month, when I come home, the last thing I want to see or think about is a monster truck. Right. You know, it's like mm-hmm. I, I see it all the time. I work on it all the time. Right. <laughs> Ain't nothing new to you. But it's Bring cool. They, they are cool machines, but man, it's like anything else. Anything, anything you do. I don't care how cool it is. If you do it enough, it's going to suck eventually sometimes. Right. Yeah. What time is it over there now? No, he's, he's on our time, 1246. Yeah, okay. I'm Eastern time. I'm okay. just right north of you. I'm just north of you. Okay. About 20-some hours north of you. <laughs> Be up there someday, traveling with this RC stuff. So now, do you watch RC Sparks? I watch some of his stuff. About how far from him are you? Oh, he's he's way west. He's he, way up. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he he'd be like he'd be like Montana from New York. Oh Lord. Yeah, he's out in Alberta. Damn. That's crazy. So, like, what, four hours, six hours? What's that? I'm sorry? From you, four to six hours away. How far is that? Alberta? Yeah. Oh, probably good. 30, 38, uh, 35, 40 hour drive. Jeez. Holy shit. That's crazy. 30 hours? Something like that? Yeah. Off the top of my head? You said 30? Yeah. That's 35 good. hours. Damn. <clears throat> that, that is crazy. That lets you know plus, how big that is. Plus, you'd have to battle several moose. Bigfoots. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> when you see a moose on the road, you know that some bitch is on the road. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a moose. A moose it, yeah. When we go, we go up to Newfoundland and do mm-hmm. shows up there, man. Like a moose, like you, you just think like, oh, it's just like a horse. No, a moose is huge. Mm-hmm. And they're not. They, I don't think they're scared of you out there. Oh no, they'll charge you. Yeah. Hey, yeah, y'all. Have, a moose will have its way with you. You've seen the, <laughs> you've seen the video where the moose was fighting. What's the comedian guy name? And he called his mom. He it was the one way he, he seen the big eyed cat. And he said, Mom, this fucking he was talking about the crazy looking cat. What is that man? Y'all ain't seen the shit. Mm-hmm. I think he's from New York, man. He's a comedian, a white guy, man. He was on um Andrew Schwartz. Damn, what is it now? I'm gonna show I'll show y'all. I'm, I'm, when, uh, I'm guessing this is when you're stateside. Do your neighbors complain when you start your monster truck trip? Um, well, we have a farm. We live on a farm in Maryland. That's where our trucks are. And my dad, we my dad grew up there, <clears throat> all that. And we were there first. So this neighborhood came in later and tried to complain about it, but. We were there first, so their complaint didn't matter. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like the county really can't do anything about it because we were there first, doing it first. They said Michael Rappaport. Yeah, that's him. Don't f- look at me like that. That's a weird looking f- cat. <laughs> Ma! Yo, there's a stray cat outside. <laughs> I'm one starting to fight with Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, it's okay. It's okay, Lucy. Don't worry about it. Ma! Ma, there's a weird f***ing straight cat outside. It looks... It looks like grandma. <laughs> Get the f*** out of here. I don't know if that's a f***ing cat. Blink, mother. <laughs> 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 no, y'all got to see the one with the moose. <laughs> Oh my! So like one in the morning, like what the hell am I watching right now? Right. <laughs> Damn cat with bug eyes. I know. I'm gonna tell y'all this. 
That cat looked like it had a long night. Oh, oh, I seen that. That's crazy. Hop, come outside. There's a fucking moose. Get that fight. Where the fuck are you going? Mom! Oh, shit. This is some fucking National Geographic shit. Mom, call a fucking cop. I, see, I seen this one. <laughs> in the front lawn. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, it's the first time. Where are you going? They're getting the hell out of the way. They don't want the car getting messed up. Damn it. That dude is off the chain. Michael straight hand, right? We we got moose around here, but we don't you don't see them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, where where uh, real rocks from? So, I mean, them, them things are walking downtown. Uh, Colorado, yeah. Colorado. Mm-hmm. And them things be walking through the. You guys Shit. ever get up north? You ever get up north much? Mm-hmm. What's the furthest north you've been? Two. I've been, I've been, to, I've been to uh Philadelphia. I was in I was in Canada the summer of ninety four. What part? Oh shit! I can't remember that. Now you're asking too much. <laughs> now you're getting greedy. Yeah, but I know it. Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Yeah, my dad's from there. That's a but outside of that. I've been, uh, hey, bro, when I went there, because I seen trash all around the crew. Oh, Philadelphia. There, yeah, yeah, I never seen nothing like that in my life, bro. It was trash, literally lined up. I guess the truck came through. I don't know what it was, but the trash is lined up around every curve, bro. That was weird. Yeah. I ain't used to that. Philly's not really a uh, destination city. Like everybody throw their trash outside. <laughs> oh, that's weird. The city and of the thugs. The amount of homeless people that I've seen, bro. The amount of homeless people that I've seen, it was buildings. Oh, dude, dude, go to go to Stoke. Go to SoCal one time. That's crazy, bro. They was lined up down this. I don't know what it is. It's just street buildings. They had their stuff put together. It was crazy, bro. Never seen nothing like that in my life. Man, it's Southern California. The homeless situation is out of yeah. control. Completely yeah. out of control. It's out of control, period, all around this world, man. It don't make no sense. Kind of folks. Yeah. Y'all gotta come up to Indiana. Uh, my, oh no, my my wife's people in Indianapolis. Well, that's right so by right? Long Beach. Bucks RC World. Where are you from? <clears throat> Oak Park, Long Beach. <laughs> yeah, this is weird. They, they take care of us. So many people outside our own damn country. But we got homeless people. That's serious. Tony said, how far are you from Detroit? Yeah. Not far enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eight hours. Oh, yeah, for, oh, from where I am in Canada? Yeah, eight hours. It's actually, it's actually pretty much the exact same from where I'm from in Maryland to where I'm from here to Michigan. Because I try to get my, I try to get my friends from Team Scream to come hang out here. I'm in Florida, bro. I don't know who in Minnesota. V2 Viz Eastern Shore, Maryland. No, I'm from Hagerstown, Maryland, west Western Maryland, out in the Panhandle. V2 Viz, how from here? Detroit. We live outside Detroit. I know some people from uh, well, everybody thinks like Kohler and them are from uh, D, but they're not. They're from Columbus. They're like, I think that's just outside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I 
I got gotcha. you. You got mountains out there? Yeah, we got mountains in western Maryland. Yeah, your package showed up today? Huh? Did your package show up today? It showed up, uh, I'm going to tell you, I appreciate that. It showed up um, Friday, I want to say. Oh, okay. What's my package? You're going to put it in your hand. and You'll see him tomorrow. Hey, I got something for you. Yeah, I got something for you, yeah. Hey, man, yeah, bro. What's up, bro? God, I need y'all. I've been waiting for, like, you must, you must, you must be some kid in the FedEx. <laughs> be your cousin, bro. I got you, Gap. I got you, Gap. I'm coming out with your own monster truck RC body. I go Monday. I go no, Monday. No, I really don't have any plans for an RC body. I mean, they Seriously. built my over. They, they did my overkill body right there for my uh, X Max. That's pretty cool, but. It's funny because everybody, every time I get I got the SMT ten, everybody says, "Oh, you need a you need an overkill body for it." Or if I get a TRX four, "Oh, you need an overkill body for it." What's the overkill body? Uh, it would be called evolution. I just, I just don't want every. Um, oh yeah, 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 monster truck. I'm tripping. Yeah, I, just, I just don't want every RC car of mine having an overkill body on it. You don't want to be. Well, I think the viewers will. Uh, the viewers will like it. All right. Would you buy the Creighton 8S, and what do you think about it? Well. I've never even seen a Creighton 8S in person, so I really couldn't tell you anything about it. I mean, I can say I've seen on videos, but I don't think that's a fair, a fair judgment when you just see something on video. What was that? What's that? Oh, I forgot, Garrett. You're a Michigan boy. Michigani. V2. All the brace up Bucks RCs. Also, Bucks, you have a uh, 8S. It looks nasty. I'd love. Kevin just put that short that short chassis on his. I don't think I'm about that. I I think. The eight S Creighton should be longer. Eight yeah. S Creighton. Yeah, I think they are pretty sweet. I do like them. I jumped it off a gate. I ran it up up a gate, and I think I messed up the steering. I don't know. I ain't put batteries in it since since I did that because. Why it's on the ground, I don't want to turn. But if you put it in the air, it'll turn. So I don't know what's wrong. I need to fix that ASAP, though. I think I sent it up a gate the second time I drove the thing. I'm pissed about that. Are you closer to Toronto or Montreal? I'm closer to Montreal. I'm about I'm three hours from uh yeah, I'm about just under three hours from Montreal and I'm about four and a half hours from Toronto. Bucks, I believe if you I believe if you uh I think someone said if you reach out to the company or whatever, they'll give it to you at a discounted rate on the the, the update the updated part. Yep, eastern Ontario. I'm just just southwest of Ottawa. J JMRCs, are you from are you from Canada? You guys usually run this late? Yeah. 
I, I, since we've been doing like the the new platform, we we kind of cut it at midnight. But I mean, hey, we used to go to one, two. Yeah. Well, people, are, we still got thirty four people here in the chat. So right. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi, Syracuse area. I pass through Syracuse every time I come here. This is quarantine time. So, as uh, has the uh, Michigan governor loosened up any? Or are they? She's still being uh, crazy. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. As soon as I heard it, I'm like, oh, this fool was over editing. I edited it. I just did it after he talked. Uh, the governor. June twelfth, such garbage. Wow, that sucks. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. (laughs) (laughs) I've had those. I've had. I've had those moments. (laughs) Oh my god! Oh shit! That's why I'm playing them. Oh shit! I should go back and re-edit my video and put them in there. Oh man, dude! You know what? I can't drop that video tomorrow. I'm glad you I was doing that. Man, I don't even know what I'm gonna film tomorrow. I forgot to put some stuff, dude. Mm. Want some idea? Know, like, yeah, I need to. Okay, here in the comments, I need like what? What should be the? Should I run my super rock ray tomorrow in a video? Well, it's funny that you just said that. I was like, I want you to do something with the rock ray, but I didn't. I just held it to myself. No man, put it out. I just Kurt don't know what to do So chat, chat, chat. Let us know or let let Mikey know what do y'all think he should do tomorrow for a video. I'm in a box of Verizon Hobby Tower Hobby. Man, hook us up with Tower Hobbies then. Uh, who said that? Seven eight RC World. I'm in Illinois, like four boxes. Oh, Horizon. man. Oh, okay. Jump the rockery into a dumpster. <laughs> They need to put out. Right. Yeah, super rock ray. But what should he do with the rock ray? Jump the rock ray into the dumpster. What's up, Kurt? I see. I think you should do. What's up, Zach? Zach, what it do? What's going on, brother? The rock ray isn't a good car to jump with, Extreme right? Extreme RC precision. No, I mean, house. I'm. I think. If I did jump it, it'd go far as hell. Yeah. But it would be ugly. it'd be ugly. I say I say send it across the pond. No, nah, I ain't gonna make it. I need that's, paddles. That, that. Put paddles on it and go across the water. <laughs> hey, you'll probably spin. You'll probably do back. The, the the problem is, is it's such it's a it's a it's kind of a bastard wheel hex on it. I forget right. which hex. Like uh, the problem is then the trailing arms on the rear are so close to the to the tire, you can't really put a wide wheel on it or a wide tire on it. All right. And are you only going to be able to go straight? What's that? What's up, What's up Extreme RC Precision? I think she's double backflip the rock ray. I don't think the rock ray would do a double backflip. <laughs> I think. Fill the dumpster with a lot of soft material and launch it. I think you should see what the rock rays could pull. Besides you, something else that's got a little bit of weight to it. Yeah, the, they really didn't. The X Max pulled better. Right. Pull a lot better. It's more controllable. It's, Believe it or not. I, saying, what's that? They're saying jump the hell out of the rock rig. Yeah, I could just go out and go into the grassy field with the ramp and just 
I don't know, have fun. I don't know, we'll figure out something to film. I, I got a lot of ideas coming up. Tomorrow is just kind of catching me off guard. I've been busy doing some other things, family stuff, things. Mm-hmm. It's getting nice out. I'm doing things around the house outside. So now, so so when it comes time to it, it's like, all right, I got to film a video real quick. Mm-hmm. Great time. <laughs> Great time without me. That's, That's what's up, Zach. Working on new products. Hey, man, keep it, keep it pumping. Keep it, keep, keep the CNC running, brother. ExtremeRCPrecision.com. That was the happy hands that I. He that's jump over a huge maker, fire. I have some of, fire. I have some have some fire ideas coming up. I like that man. I that thing yeah, is ka- kaiju upgrades, crawler upgrades, tools, kits. Everything. If you've broken certain parts on your kaiju that we've said in every video, y'all need to head on over to extremercprecision.com. This is what I think you should do also. See, do like a tug of war with the with, with the X Max and the uh rock ray. We could. Yeah, I could just see how that would go. See which one on demand. I think the I think the low is a few pounds heavier than the, the X Max. Is that heavy? I got to get one of them, man. I mean, it's it's a solid vehicle. Yeah, I'm gonna grab. Guys... I like the way it looks. Also, <clears throat> what do you guys think of the Prima RC Raminator? That's cool. If I had a Raminator, I would put an RC Max engine in there. If I had all that money to spend, I, I would want to make it electric. I yeah. would. I would put the RC Max engines or the LX big boy engine in it because they ain't got no, they ain't got no electric engines really. That's gonna push that thing like that unless you put two. Two of the biggest MGM um, systems on it. Say what that motor in that Rock Race series. Mm-hmm. That thing's like a soda can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you send you could send the UDR. Yeah, I've been been procrastinating that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man, it's gonna be like man. that's gonna be like ground zero. Yeah. How, oh, how they do have a huge motor going into a prime that's being done. Yeah, that's I think that's the wagon I'd be on. Mm. Two hundred CC? Someone needs to buy a 350 SBC. Jump your house. Jump your house with it. <laughs> Jump your house with the X Max. Jump down. I want to jump a kaiju over the house. You got the. I'll, 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 I'll send one over uh, True's house. What? Kaiju. The problem is with the rock ray, it's so hard to handle at high speed. <clears throat> I'd jump it off of like that thing when that thing oh, gets man, wound up, it it's out. it's hard, it's hard. It but it's things an animal. Yeah, I got Zach, did you I wanna say Zach while you're in here, did you did you uh were you able to send that off yesterday? I want to deal with short run times on 14S batteries. That's a ton of money. Yeah, it is. I need me some batteries. See, with the with the Raminator, if it had more get up and go, I wouldn't have an issue with it. It's just I like the Raminator. Like I like the part. Like that's the only thing that bothers me about it is like you know, you, if you go to spin a donut, you can just really tell it's struggling on the bottom end. Right. I understand they make a 
you know, the upgrade motor or the engine and everything like that. But, uh, Jack, Jack H, I'm gonna hold you to that. So look out for that video. I'm gonna jump over True's house. I'm sure it's like, you know, if you keep it up on the power, it's not bad, but as soon as it falls off that power band. Yeah, you're going to spend 2500 on one of them big block motors, Tona. Okay, Zach. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, uh, Kevin has one of them upgrades coming to him. Trailer trash. And Jack H, he said, will you buy his parts if he does it with an X-Max? Somebody buy me a gear then. He's mod 1.5 gears. Damn gears cost too much as a on. <laughs> I'll tell you what I was. I'll tell you what I was surprised with the Rock Ray. I really started tearing into it, and the uh, and the receiver isn't even in a waterproof case or anything. It's just double sided tape to the <laughs> out in the open. Yes, yes. That's it's the same way like that in the uh, Super Baja Ray as well. It's just right there. It's right behind is it water fake, the fake vents. It sits yeah, it right must be, just pop. It must be it must be waterproof. <clears throat> must be. Because it ain't covered by nothing. Because <laughs> I've pressure washed it. I've pressure washed it many times, and I never even realized that. I'm like, oh boy. I'm gonna show y'all what this. Uh, what's up, Gap? I'm gonna show y'all what this Dementor hey, can do. Extreme RC said, "What's up, Gap? What's good? What's good? Extreme RC precision, man. Y'all gotta go check him out, man. Get some of them good parts, them good kaiju parts." He got um the the uh the arm a arm protectors for the 8s Creighton and the 6s Creighton. Y'all go check him out, man. Go check him out. We need to we need to send this. We need that diff that diff case, man, so we can send this thing. Show them what this thing can yes, do. Sir, it's that uh, LPs. The LPs on there or are those regular? LP. I can't I'll hear you. True spin. He's an LPs. I see. I read his lips, but spin spin it. Oh, okay. He can't hear you, Drew. Hear me now, bro? Okay, here I go. You want to tell Drew what's up? Yes, car is fast. What's hey, up, guys. nephew? This guy right here, V2Vids. This guy right here, he drives one of the monster trucks we've seen at the uh, monster jam. What's up, dude? Tell him what's up, man. What's up? What's up? How you man? doing, buddy? <laughs> I've been in a minute. Hey, kid's still up at one in the morning. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, we had a party today, so you know. How that goes. Uh, I got you. All the other kids just left. <laughs> my girls, yo, though, my girls, yo they one. Doing What's so up, yo dumb. one? Yeah, I'm trying to get it back right. Uh, extreme. He said they're making. He said they're gonna be making an upgraded dip case for the Corrali. I know it's coming. I know it's coming, bro. Hey, this is a wireless. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, you got your uh, wireless servo. Yes, no, a wireless uh program card. Oh, you couldn't even see it because you had your green screen up. Yeah. Y'all seen these before? Have you ever used? It? I guess you could put this in a car. I don't know. You got a like no, that's the one for that's the one for the hobby wing. Yeah, hobby wing. Yeah, they some. I saw a video the other day. Somebody had it set up separately in a like in a different box off to wow. the side. Yeah, extreme like RC that body, that body sharp. The mentor. Yeah, the mentor. Yeah, we're gonna show them what it do when I get that dip out. I was uh, didn't want to say uh, Tony, but the Raminator. I think the Raminator would be the most controllable. Two wheel skill RC car. Hmm. That's just my thoughts. I think it's it's big enough, like you know, it's heavy enough for the reaction time. Doesn't have to be as lightning quick. You know, like that's that's just, if I had one, that's what I'd mess with. I'd try to be getting like <laughs> uh, control. Well, that and it's how it has a slower low end. I think that would be key on being controllable. Right. All right, Jack H. Y'all hear it here in the chat. Jack say you're going to buy anybody's parts who jumps a house. 
He'll buy anybody what? He's gonna buy anybody parts who jumps a house. So tell him to, tell him to send the money first, and then I'll do it. <laughs> I tell I you, it'd be out. great. Run an X Max wide open into a Barbie house. <laughs> there you go. He a didn't fully buy what house. kind of house. Uh, he said, I hear that. I almost had it bicycling. There you go. That's one thing I've never done with my X Max. Does anybody else do that? Like the two wheel stuff? I know trailer trash. I know he does it. Mm, I haven't tried that yet. I just feel like it's super hard on the spider gears and the differential. No, I, I, I could never pull it off. I never would have tried it much. <laughs> Funny said tomorrow on V2V, Barbie goes house shopping. <laughs> Why have to go to Toys R Us? We don't even have Toys R Us no more. We still have those up here in Canada. That's crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which is great because that sucks. We don't have it. Hey, but, B2V, is I'm getting in on, on, I want in on the next on the next challenge, bro. I want in. Oh yeah, throw us in the challenge next time. It can't be a crawler challenge though, because I don't want to crawl. A crawler challenge. Or, uh, it's and a GT. You got to be a regular a regular car. If you have a, a X Max X Max challenge or a Creighton Six S challenge. Yeah, Creighton Six S challenge. I'm in. Well, my Creighton's going to be out of commission for about a month until I get my parts. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Unless somebody's got some A-arms they can send me. <laughs> Jack H, you got any A-arms or a 6 crate? Creighton? <laughs> that's, that's really the only thing holding me up right now. I mean, I, I bent the rear shock tower, but I can take it off and hammer it back straight, no problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Zach, you, Zach, you got any? What's hard on different spider gears? When you get when you get it up on two wheels like that, on the X Maxes and that outside the, the top tire is spinning like super, super fast and your inside tire isn't. So your spider gears are in there just spinning a million miles an hour, these little tiny gears going that fast. It's just super hard on them. Uh Gillo seventy eight, I have seven. Yes, how he said it's a question for everybody. How many RCs do you guys own? I ain't got no. five. <laughs> come on, come on, Gap Superstore. Five, I told him five. <laughs> five dozen. I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, really. <laughs> but I do got one of these from Extreme Precision RC. That's sweet. RC Precision, Team Corelli Python, 6S That's Monster. Yeah, sir. Sure. One of these right here, man. Gap got five trillion five hundred fifty-five billion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, don't be putting all my business in the street uh, like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, more like 500 laugh like <laughs> No, nah, I think Tony. I think Tony got everybody beat. Everybody in here together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, nine. I think I'm nine. Eight or nine. Eight. See, I like I like to be rich in parts with RCs though. That's my that's my addiction is the parts. Yeah. Yeah. The 10 RC cars, but I want I want every part for every one of them. <laughs> That's my thing. <laughs> you look, you almost want to be able to build one from scratch with parts. <laughs> yeah, I pretty much came with my X-Max. The only thing I don't have for it is an ESC and a receiver. Yeah. So that's your, the other X-Max to the left, up top, that's your Shelf Queen X-Max? Yeah, that's my 6S. Okay. That's, the one they, that's the one they wrap the overkill body and everything on. So. Okay. Yeah, that's so now yeah. I just this is my main girl right here. But, yeah. I don't know, man. I think it's gonna be rock raid tomorrow. 
I haven't gotten out in a minute either. Like, Last I, time I got mine out, I was racing it. That's it. See, when I when I get it out, I I get having fun with it, and I start wanting to treat it like the X Max, and that's. <laughs> not an X Max. <laughs> Yeah, man, but I'm telling you, let me tell you what you should do. If you ever get with a few guys and you all running, you know what I'm saying, I would say in a in a real uh, loose dirt area, like where the traction is not nothing, you get absolutely no no traction at all, and you put out about four cones in different locations, and you race that rock ray on loose dirt, it is a monster. They're not going to be able to keep up with you. It's almost like a cheat sheet. It's crazy, man, on that loose dirt in a race where that back just can whip around and then when yeah. you dig in, you just get the traction back so easily. It's fun, man. It's fun. Yeah. It's actually, I don't mind running it on 6S, to believe, believe it or not. You know, I mean, if I'm in a small area, if I, actually, when I take it over to my racetrack, my racetrack is really tiny, so I just put it on 6S and rip around. It's a lot more controllable, a lot nicer. So, and if you got Instagram, Jack Eight, send him a message on uh, Instagram. Hey, give me one minute, guys. I'll be right back. Okay. Unless you guys are getting off here. <laughs> we did that. Okay. Is your call true? I'm kidding. I'm all right. Whatever. Whenever we are. I'm cool. No work for me in the morning. <laughs> I'm good there. <laughs> oh, so may I, do I have any on-road RCs? I mean, technically, they all can be on-road. <laughs> uh, but I do want to, like I, I was telling uh, Gap over here, I want to get the infraction. Please do. You're going to love it, bro. You're going to love it. It's awesome. Like stock the Limitless the looks cool, too. Yeah. Mm. The Limitless looks cool. Yeah, limitless, limitless though is, it's it's more work if you want to bash it around. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do a little bit extra to it than what you would do to an infraction. See, an infraction you can pull it out of the box, slap two three S batteries or one six S pack in there and just go crazy with it. The limitless you can't if your setup is not right, you cannot do that. You know, if you set up for for speed runs with that spool. Then it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good for bashing around. You're gonna have to go up on that spool or change you know change that spool to a center diff. So oh, okay. you can be able to do you know you can put a 2200 or a 2000 kV motor in there and be fine actually bashing around. You know what I'm saying? Doing your your burnouts and your your drifting and all that kind of stuff with that spool. You're gonna burn the motor. You're gonna burn your motor up. I got you. That makes sense. Unless you just want to go straight down the street, 120 miles per hour. Well, the the infraction is actually a basher that they just made into a street mm -hmm. truck. Mm -hmm. Like I, I didn't know that. I started looking at the design of it. I was like, this damn thing is just like the Creighton. It's just, you know, it compacted to make it a street mm -hmm. street vehicle. So that's what that's that's what I like about them. Mm -hmm. It's 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 definitely a fun truck, man. It's it's one of the funnest street experiences you actually can well for me it's one of the best street experiences that you can have because it's at the end of the day it's still controllable it's not like an x01 to where it just get ridiculous on you you know what i'm saying it's it's controllable fun i would say that i gotcha yeah i did notice that with kevin he got that what, what's it, the Traxxas car he had it he had issues controlling it he couldn't keep yeah, it straight the XO1. yeah the x01 is if you don't swap those tires, man, it's we just need pretty much slicks on it. Yeah, it, it's super tough to keep it in a straight line, especially if you yeah. get on you get on the power hard and quick, fast. That I thing had a, nuts. I had, used to have a drifter, uh, Gillows. I used to have the uh, Falcon colorway Mustang. Which was that one. Oh, okay, that's the. Uh... Yeah, that's remember that. I remember that. Oh, I remember that's that paint, paint job. Yeah, that's paint job from the TT, the uh, low C tenacity TT mm, yeah. Pro. 
Mm-hmm. That's the same paint job. The one that don't never want to come back and stop. <laughs> I've been waiting for it forever. What was on here? That was smart. Somebody said I said something smart. I don't recall. <laughs> Reading through the comments. There are two R's. I want to spare parts. Sorry, just reading comments here. Oh, yeah. Extra parts. Yeah. Can't have too many parts, guys. Cannot. Yeah, I got you, Tony. I just read up through the comments. Yeah, you should have seen my wife's face when my my dad sent my X Maxes up to me because I I left him in the trailer because I was planning on I was coming up here from Atlanta visit, visiting my family that I was going to fly straight to Vegas so I left all my X Maxes my spare parts everything in the trailer then once I figured out we were going to be up here for a while I had him send everything up <laughs> my I take my X Maxes out and then there's all my parts like just this huge pile of parts. Laying there, she just shakes her head because she didn't know I was that stocked up. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like li- I literally 1,500 in spare parts. I'm not even joking. It's ridiculous. Wow. Dude. Ridiculous. I should get, I, I do need a traction sponsor. That'd be nice. Who's this guy? Trailer trash. He must yeah. be a new guy. Yeah, he I'm must be a new guy. Yeah, I gotta check him out. Sorry, Garrett, I'm just giving you a hard time here, man. Yeah, everybody definitely if you don't know who trailer trash is and you you wanna have a good time watching a video, check his stuff out. I wish RC he hit a girl with an RC card, that's what I did. His daughter. Oh goodness. Yeah, y'all go subscribe to his channel. <laughs> Got yo one in here. Said, yo one in here speaking French. Yeah, yeah, he's he's over he's over in France. Oh, proper French. One minute, true. It'll be one thirty. All right. We got one minute, guys. And we up off here, man. So I want to close out again, Mikey. Man, listen. Thank you, brother, for 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 reaching out after talking to Icon. We really appreciate you coming on and and, and kicking it with us. Yes, sir. Uh, continue, continue doing what you do, man. Continue to be humble. Um, much respect. For, for you and everything that you do. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me. I wouldn't mind coming on again. And look, man, we're all out here doing the same hobby. You know, yes, we're all sir. We do, we Remember you because... said that because we, we're going to bring you back. <laughs> we definitely yeah. going to bring you back. <laughs> I'm all about it, you know. I mean, Tra- and tra- Trailer Trash, when he comes back, you got to get on here with him. Yeah, Trailer Trash, you got to come on in here, man. We, hey, we, yeah. hey, get it, get it, hey, we get a live, we get a live trash talking session going, man. That, that'll be awesome. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Well, yeah, let me know, guys. I'm I'm always up I for got it. You. Yeah, man, we 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 def- we definitely appreciate you, man. We definitely uh, appreciate you stopping through. Like I said, I'm gonna apologize again for what I had going on earlier, but. We, oh. we we definitely this this was one we was really really looking forward to man and you came on you showed showed up and showed out man and we we definitely appreciate that. Oh my gosh, man! Thanks for having me. I really didn't have anything going on this Sunday night. Yes, sir. So it, it's perfect. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'll catch you all, all right, later. Mikey. You have a good one, man. In a minute, man. Stay in touch, guys. All right. All right. So no, I will. See. You. All right, guys in the chat. We'll see y'all later, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll be back. You no, know, we'll see y'all Tuesday night. Tuesday night, nine o'clock. Six specific. Anybody? Peace. All right, Mike. Right, <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we all. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Out. All right. Uh...